talk about Queen Op and Shell again. Um, I got to show y'all video, and then we have to talk about Ivy um, versus Twenty One. I have some valid, I have some very bold statements towards Ivy versus Twenty One that I would like to um, discuss. Um, hey Ryan, Michelle. Hey, hey Amor. Hey baby. And then, um, then we have to sit down, and you guys have to give me the names for the nominations for the People Want to Know awards. So come on in, y'all. We'll start when we get the five stars. Run it up. We'll start when we get the five stars. Yes, today is the day, honey. We're taking names and nominations of the people want to know. Hi, Poison Ivy. Today is the day, honey. It's happening. So come on, come all, y'all. When we get to five stars, run it up. We need gala gifts. Please hold your gala tickets for me. Hey, the Beagle Asylum. Hey, Ellen. Please hold your... Hey, Melon, Melanton in. Please hold your gala tickets for me. Do not get, throw me any gala tickets. Um, just gala gifts. Moto and Leon Hunt. That's so funny, boo. Yes. And I like Madame, but you know, I always I always have a crazy cover photo. I like the Madame, but you know, that cover photo was definitely giving her. Hey, Beagle Asylum. You know, when she was in the hotel going through her coke phase. Definitely was her, honey. This is a this is a man's world. Um, should I turn my fan on? Hi, Mimi. Um, we need just gala gifts, you guys. Gala, 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 bill, y'all, gala, gala. Gala, gala, bill, y'all, gala, gala. Hey, King J, thank you. Thank you. I feel special. I'm on my troll page. That's okay. I say hi to my trolls. Even if you come on a troll page, I you know I see all comments, I see all people coming in, I see everything, and I acknowledge everyone. Whether you got one bean, ten beans, or fifteen beans, whether you send whatever you send or you just tap the screen, honey. Thank you, Paradise. Trolls are welcome in here too. Um, we need some one K gala gifts. You definitely do. Um, yeah, of course. Um, we need some one K gala gifts. I don't know why it, my screen is is light and everything looks bright, and then it just goes to being dark. I don't know if it's because like the phone is overheating and shit like that. Cause Beagle makes your phone hot and the camera and the battery like, I feel like the fucking battery is gonna like melt out of this shit. And I love that you don't act like we ain't shit. Well, no trolls, a lot of trolls ain't shit, but trolls who are fun are good trolls. Like trolls who talk shit and kiki and kai kai and do all that is great. But the trolls who are mean, yeah, I ain't, no, mm -mm. I treat y'all like dust and I don't even give y'all attention. But the trolls who are just trolling, and I know you're trolling, you're just talking shit, you're talking shit to me, you're having whatever. We won't kick you, we have a good time. After hearing the new after hearing the new rules from you, now everyone is speaking to the audience. Really? Cause they're afraid. You know what's crazy? It's crazy to me. Now next week I'm gonna need you to dress like a host every week. I'm dead. You know what's crazy to me? It's crazy to me that so many people on this app don't well, I'm not going to say don't like me, but talk shit about me. Thank you for tapping, Hissy. But as soon as I get breaking news for your nails, bitch. Oh, I have to do that. As soon as I get breaking news, all the people who don't like me be motherfucking doing exactly what I said you're not supposed to. I mean, be doing, be doing what, um, what I said you're supposed to be doing. Y'all don't like me. Y'all don't watch me. But y'all know exactly what I say when I give updates. Y'all say I'm lying about shit. Y'all say I'm, I ain't that girl. Thank you, Big Max. You say that I ain't nobody special. Y'all say that I'm jealous of y'all. Y'all say everything. Thank you, Miss Mango. But as soon as I give y'all an update on how shit's going, y'all be motherfucking changing. Mm. They say you be lying, but repeat what you said. Child, that's why, that's why I tell y'all I don't pay attention to these clout chasers and these losers who want my attention. Why are the madam wig so grief, wig face so greasy? I don't know. Um, all right, can we get to five stars, y'all? We have a few things to talk about. Um, do y'all want to talk about shit first, or do y'all want to go straight into the awards? I love you more, Insatiable. I've been watching you since FB. Oh, thank you, since S S Smash Pass Rose. Thank you, Miss 76. Do y'all want to go to talk about the subjects, or do y'all want to go straight into the People Want to Know Beagle Awards nominations? So you have to cam up now. I'm not getting into all the rules. I love you, down, my love, but I'm not getting into... Um, Y'all want to chat first? Y'all want to talk first? Y'all want to y'all want to chat first? Y'all want to talk first? Okay, we could do that. Y'all my people, I'm going to listen to y'all. 
Let's talk about your son. Uh-uh, Big T. I mean, Big Steve. Um, subjects. Okay, we have Queen Op and Shell first. I have to show you a video, and then we're going to talk about Ivy and what happened with her in 21. Um, and then well, there was one more thing we had to talk about, and then we're going to hop into the awards. You had no shame stopping people asking them to play. Oh, yeah, I loved it. Um, but we need to be on five stars first. Now he looks just like you. Can we get on five stars, you guys? And then we're going to get we're going to hop right into the shit we need to talk about. Um, if you have gala, please do gala. We're not going to show Detroit that picture posted in Best of Beagle earlier. No, we're not. Mm -mm. No. Hey, my kid. Thank you, OG Thotty. Thank you, darling Nikki. Thank you, baby. Yes, we need gala gifts, you guys. We need gala gifts, and we're going to hop right into the subjects. <coughs> Thank you, Miss 76. Can we get to five stars really quick, y'all? Five stars really quick. Thank you, Miss 76. Drop for me, drop for me, Maculate. Uh, drop for me, drop for me, Miss 76. Drop for me, drop for me, Miss 76. Uh, drop for me, drop for me, Eon. Uh, <coughs> drop for me, drop for me, Brown Sugar. Uh, drop for me, drop for me, Eon. Uh, drop for me, drop for me, Phoenix 1121. Drop for me, drop for me, Eon. Uh, drop for me, drop for me, Musician. Drop for me, drop for me, Eon. Uh, period. Thank y'all. Drop for me, drop for me, Paradise. Drop for me, drop for me, Eon. Uh, Thank y'all. Run it up, y'all. Come on. We need to be at five stars and we're going to hop right in. We got a lot of shit to cover today. We got a lot of shit to talk about. I'm going to open up the box and let y'all come up and talk y'all shit. Say whatever y'all need to talk. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the live. Let's get to five stars first. Let's get to a box and we're going to hop right in. Welcome, everyone. <coughs> Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, darling Nikki. Look at Llama's gay ass coming in here, bitch. Hey, Llama. Run it up, y'all. Run it up. Now he's breaking up my shit. We'll whoop his ass and send him to send him to um to um foster care girl. Social services. I don't want him. Yes, run it up. Run it up. Run it it up. Run it it up. Before the troll shack and Dr. S's bitch ass come up in here. Yes, run it up, y'all. We need gala gifts. We need 5k, 10k, all of that. Let's get to five stars. Let's get to a box and we're gonna get started. Hey loyal team. We have a few different things to talk about. I'm going to show this video. Ivy, we have... Oh, God damn it. Llama, gala gifts, please. I didn't throw you no motherfucking goddamn faggot, bitch. Goddamn rose petal. Get the fuck out my fucking face. Hey, loyalty. Y'all, let's run it up, please. Let's get to five stars or a box. Look at me down here. Fucking eyes is... Oh, God, here comes this bitch. Oh, Lord. Fuck me. Hey, medicine. You see the naps? You see the naps coming through? You see the naps coming through? I'm thinking to get my hair straightened and I'm going to get it dyed like pink. I'm going to get it dyed. Hey, medicine. Y'all, let's get to five stars. Let's get to a box really quick. Let's get to a box and we're going to get started. Five stars a box. Let's, yes, let's get gala gifts, please. Gala gifts, gala gifts, gala gifts. Medicine Nate is so crazy. How the fuck does it go for medicine, them saying the dogs went missing, to now medicine is having sex with the dogs? Y'all, and now he eats the dogs. Medicine, do you eat dogs? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it look like you put your hair taken off, okay? Girl, if this comes off, my hair comes off. Bastard llama. Come on, y'all. Run it up, y'all. Thank you, FDR cream. Okay, Matt. <laughs> yes, at this, at this point... At this point, medicine, medicine is eating the dogs. No shade. No shade. Medicine's eating the fucking dogs. Like, that's what it's given. Like, girl. Okay. Come on, y'all. Let's get to five stars. Don't start, Miss Tiffany. We don't do free promotion, ho. Drop me a motherfucking 5K or a dragon, ho. Don't be motherfucking putting no goddamn llamas in my goddamn shit, you dirty bastard. I wouldn't put it past him. Motherfucker. Hooker. Thank you, Poison. <laughs> yes, y'all, run it up. We need 3K to get to five stars, and then we need 10K to get to a box. Medicine is hilarious at this point. Yeah, run it up. We're going to start with topics first, and then we are going to go into the People Want to Know Awards nominations. So I need y'all in the room. We're getting ready for nominations, okay? 
Nominations, today's the day. Hey, New York Thought. Oh, God, that's fucking Shaq. Why is there so many trolls in my fucking room? Oh, Lord. Yes, we're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. Oh, God. It's like fucking troll after troll. These bitches are special following me. Fucking evil. We need 3K, y'all. Fill up, Robert. Read my comment. I can't. I have glaucoma, girl. Um, Go fuck yourself, New York Thought. Hey, Zeus. Y'all always come in fucking nice. Like, hi. I know what the fuck y'all about. Y'all come in here to make my life a living hell. Thank you. Hey, Coco. I love you more. See, I tried to be nice. Fuck your nice, bitch, nigger. I said medicine, not going to talk. He lied and said that. Chief of police, uh. Hey, Brad. Yes, gala gifts, you guys. Gala gifts, please. Gala gifts boots. Thank you, lies you tell. Thank you so much, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Run it up, y'all. We need 3K. Not Cleopatra reject. We need 3K, and then we need y'all fill up the treasure chest, too. He don't appreciate our nice dress. Oh, God. Red is here. When the fuck did all these people get in the room? Oh, my God. I have, like, seven fucking trolls in here at once. This is crazy. Like, is this what I've become? Is this who we are? Did Monique say that? Thank you, Poison Ivy. Is this what I have become? Is this who we are? Only you can say the N-word and make me wet. What? How is me saying the N-word make you wet? Does this make you wet as well? Jew? What about kike? What about wet back? Does that make you wet as well? Like when I, what about Kim Jong-un? Hey, Ma. Ma, my PK is Saturday. Hey, y'all. Daddy, yes, almost there. The element of surprise. Oh, he's ah! oh my God. Don't start. Gallagher's. Gallagher's, bitch. Gallagher's. Don't start with me, bitch. Don't start with me. Don't start with me, ho. Y'all, Gallagher's. Fuck you. Don't start with me, bitch. You just got here, ho. Find something to do with your time, hooker. Um, bitch. Um, you guys, fill up the treasure chest, y'all. Fill up the treasure chest. They go on Kanye, you don't do the Jews, okay? Honey, they will buy my property. What do you smell like today, shit? Monica Clay, hey, Lauren. Oh, God, there's so many goddamn trolls in my life. Y'all, do you have a fight in the chain factory? Fuck you, bitch. Y'all, we need 3K, y'all. Can we get 3K really quick? Thank you, Ma. Can we get 3K? Can we get 3K? How do you know? I smell like shit, girl, because I, I, I wiped. I, I, I mean, I didn't wipe. I didn't wipe. I shit, and then I didn't wipe. Well, your title said... Madame Low. Yes, Madame Low. We need 3K, y'all. We need 3K, y'all. Oh my God, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Ah! Bastards. All right, we're going to jump right in. We're going to jump right in. Can I just get Gala gifts, please? Baby, you play too much. Y'all play too goddamn much, fucking bastards. We um, we just need Gala gifts, you guys. We're going to hop right in. Let's, let's, we're on five stars. Can we get to a box? Can we get to a box? We're going to dive in first and talk about Queen Op and Shell. I don't know who BF200 is, but get out of my queue. You look like you're fucking in a third world country, bitch. You come into my queue again. I'm get Security. Security for the bitch in the queue. And they came in before. Let me make sure I kick them out and block them this time. So they can't fucking come back. Some of you glow sticks. Go to hell. Thank you, Red. See the gala gifts? Thank you. Is that a gala gift? Is those, are those gala gifts? I don't know. We need 6K. Everybody live at the same time. Well, go ahead and watch everybody else's live, my love. We don't care. I don't care anybody else alive, honey. We don't give a fuck of what's going on. We're here to talk about what's going on here. Hey, Bugatti, we need 6K. If everybody's live at the same time, my love, then get out and go watch your favorite. And if I'm your favorite, then sit your ass here and shut the hell up. Stop telling me about what everyone else is doing and join in this motherfucking conversation. Not Miss Tiffany is sending me loyalty tickets. Um, we need 6K. This looks just a mess. Love your mother, bitch. Red, that's not the gift I asked for. I asked for gala gifts. I know you heard me say gala gifts, you fucking slut. You fucking slut monkey, bitch. You heard me say gala gifts, bitch. You fucking whore, bitch. You fucking heard me. Um, just, we need 5K, you guys, in gala gifts, please. 5K, that was an accident. My accident, my ass, you make me sick, favor. Um, thank you, Edwin. I appreciate it. We need 5K. We're going to hop right in. Thank you, Edwin. From another... Oh, God. She came on another page. 
Oh, yeah. God. Here she goes. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? And stop sending a fucking period into my room, bitch. Stop sending that dot in my room. Here, hello, Clarice sent me. You think I don't know it's you, nigga? Bitch. Motherfucker. I know it's you, whore. That goddamn dot comes in here. Hello, Clarice sent me, bitch. Fuck her. Hey, the BW, we need 4K before we get started. We need 4K. Her name is Dot. No, her name is Evil, Demonic. It's not Dot. It's Dotmonic. It's Demonic. Coming in here and fucking give me that goddamn shit and then talking about, I like how you say bitch. No, because they be fucking, uh, stop being an angry bro. No, I can't. Hey, the bookworm, how are you? We just need gala gifts. We need 4K. I'm sorry about that. I came out of my um element. We need 4K and we're going to hop right in. Let's start on a box today. Can we start on a box? She will be back to visit, and I'm going to, bitch, I know it's you. I'm going to get her. One day I'm going to get that hoe to cam up, just like I'm going to get Dr. S. Be nice to her. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck that whore. She's a whore and a slut. She's a prostitute. Hey, okay, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, we're getting ready to start. We need 4K. We need 4K, please, Gala Gifts. And we're gonna hop right in and we're gonna start with Queen Op and Shot. I like your hair, thank you. Hi, Chucky. Hey, how are you? Let me go get her. Oh my God, no, you don't need to go get her. Hey, Chucky, how you doing? You don't need to go get her, just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Here for the IVT. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Ivy. We're gonna watch it, yes. I love how y'all come in, y'all like, here for the IVT, here for the Queen Op and Shell tea, here for the greedy baby mama tea, yes. And whenever I do this tea and talk about this, y'all can come up and give y'all's opinion. I'm going to give my opinion, and then y'all can give y'all's opinion. Now, as I give my opinion about the IV team, when I do talk about it, I just want to be very clear. Anybody who is on 21's Brigade or Camp, if you are a 21 fan, you are able to come up here and we're not going to kick you. They might jump you in the comments, and I might tell you you're a stupid bitch as well, but you're allowed to be in the room. We do not kick, mute, or block anyone and anyone else's family as long as you are following protocol. So if we are talking shit about your favorite, or we are saying something, that you disagree with you can feel free to come on up mink 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 and fight back stand up fight back we will not kick you or we will not mute you in here um but if you try some fuck shit bitch you're gonna get jumped i'm just letting you know but if you are one against many we invite you to come on up and be like fuck y'all y'all jealous of my favorite and this is why and then well you know i might ask you some questions or i might let the people comment but you know mink 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 we need 3k y'all we need 3k and we're gonna get started 3k Thank you, Angel GG, OG, CG. Thank you, Angel GG. We need 3K. Thank you, Coco. Gala gifts if you guys have it. And the room is hot as well. So you guys can play those 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 hot, those lucky gifts, the SL gifts. The room is hot. You, you're amazing, my love. Um, the room is hot. You guys can play those gifts and you can get into my vagina. The more bells, the more SL. My name is, oh, fuck me. Hi, Dot. Thank you for stopping into the broadcast. Have a good day. And make your way up right on out. <sighs> when the fuck did Dr. S walk into this room? <sighs> when the fuck did all of these trolls get into this room at months? I don't know who a Hota is, but get out of my get out of my queue. We need we need 4K. We need 4K. Thank you, Baddie. Hey, how you doing, Baddie? That's not the baddie with the collapsed neck. I know what baddie that is. Damn, Robert, you good. You almost had a box in less than 20 minutes. You, the go to beagle. Oh, thank you, love. Yes, let's get to a box really quick. Hi, Denzel. How are you doing? We need 4K. We need 4K. Let's get to a box really quickly. And ah, God damn it. Dot, get the fuck out, bitch. Get out, bitch. Fuck out. I don't know why Clarice sent you, bitch. I know it's you. I know it's Fitnet, bitch. I know it's you, you motherfucking slut. Get out, bitch. Fuck you, Ash. You talking about perfect. Hey, Ace, you fucking coon, bitch. Motherfucker, get out. Fuck out of here. Figuan tell you something, bitch. Melt. Right here, you nasty girl. Fucking bitch. All the other fucking... No, you don't need some shit, Red Rider. Sorry about that, everyone. We need... um. We need Hey J Train. We need 2K. It enhances your look. It don't. It don't enhance shit. You bitches are disgusting. 
<coughs> Hi, Big T. We need 2K really quick. We need 2K. And we're going to get started. We're going to get started. You're not being nice. No, you're not being nice, Clarice. Stop telling that motherfucking hooker. Clarice, ain't you got something to do with your motherfucking time today? Get you a rose and go put it on your vagina, okay? Go put it on your vagina. How are you doing today? I'm doing horrible because I just started my fucking live and I'm being trolled, bitch. Hi, Denzel. Why are you calling me a jelly baby? Denzel, ain't you supposed to be straight? God damn it. Son of a bitch. Tiffany. Tiffany, go somewhere else, bitch. The fuck out my life. You motherfucking goddamn animal fucker. You sister father fucker. Your uncle is your brother, bitch. Get out. Get the fuck out. Fuck out, bitch. Hey, Miss Jelly, fucking bitch. I'm sorry, everyone. Let me keep my composure. Hot. Excuse the. Thank you, John Boy. Excuse the trolls in here, please. Thank you, John Boy. Excuse the trolls. They have no class and no couth. Thank you. Thank you, XOX Love Tie. And XOXO Love Tie. XOXO Love Tie. I know you like to go to White Boy Maj's live. He's gay. He's gay. He's a faggot. He's a young sissy. I don't have no roommate, bitch. And if I did have a roommate, bitch, what about it, bitch? I live in New York, ho. If I had a motherfucking roommate, bitch, and wanted to have a motherfucking roommate, I could, bitch. I could. I've had one before. Ain't shit wrong with it. Everybody who talks shit about New York, bitch, if I paid what I paid, bitch, where you hoes live, I could buy your house and your neighbor's house, bitch. Half you hoes don't live in Chateau Charest, bitch. You live in a motherfucking tent, bitch. Fuck you. Why are you coming for the inbreeds? Exactly. Anyway, everyone hurts. Girl, I know you fucking lying. First of all, I know you seen my message on Instagram, bitch. What message? I messaged you. You need to look. What it say? What it say? Thank no, you, No, no. You got to look. It don't say shit. You got to look. Can you send? Can Damn. you write me a message right now so it goes to the top and I see it? All right, baby. Hey, they thing. Manny, they might have banned you because you wasn't talking to people, Manny. So I don't know. Ask your agency owner. I don't want no trans flags. Chef and Rashawn, I'm in the gala, so can you send gala gifts? Stop playing with me, Chef and Rashawn, bitch. Who is the actor in your cover photo? My cover photo is Madame Lowe. M Madame Lowe is on my cover photo. Um, that was Madame when she was Michael. Tuna? Really? Tuna? Thank you, Lige. I got clipped on an audio while talking last night. <laughs> you got clipped on an audio. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. Damn. I'm, so I'm sorry, not clipped on an audio. That is, ooh, that's horrible. You know what? If you're in an audio and you're talking to people, depends on how long you were talking, number one. And also I would write in the, I would write they can see what you're wearing behind the audio as well. Let's be clear. And as well, I would interact with the comments. So I would write back and respond to some of the comments as well. Yeah. But I'm not here to go through all of the rules, whatever. You're my host, uh, Fitness. So you know if you got any issues, let me know. Hello? Security. And you got double pit. You got double kick. Damn. So when you cam down, Bigo can still see. Yes, Bigo sees when you're cam down. Hey, Hood Rich, how you doing, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad we got a phone call today. How you doing, man? Um, yes, yes. If you're cam down, Bigo can still see. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, Denzel? Denzel, are you sending me gifts? Do I need to follow you, Denzel, and come show you some love? Hi, baby. Hi. All right, we're gonna get right into our, our one, three, and fours, y'all. Thank you, John Boy. I appreciate you. Hello? So if you virtual, can they see you? Yes. With that virtual avatar? Yes. yes. Okay. And someone wanted me to ask you to explain the driving part. Do they not want you driving and the background thing? The, the background is specifically for safety. So if you're driving, background of everything, they see through the backgrounds. You guys, I'm not going to go through every single thing. God damn it, Smitty. You're a fucking prostitute. You're a whore and a slut. Bitch, you heard me in the middle of a motherfucking goddamn motherfucking sentence, bitch. Bitch, you heard me speaking, you motherfucker. You think that shit is funny, ho? Making me look like I have a fucking tumor in my goddamn head, bitch. You ain't got shit, ho. D 
dirty bitch. Can you God damn it, son of a bitch. I'm not Y'all need to get something to do with yourself. Buy your rolls, buy something to play with your pussy, bitch. Buy something to play with your vagina, bitch. Hey bow tie, fucking bitch. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of the rules for y'all again. If you wanna see the rules, I'm sure it is on YouTube, okay? Type in God Zeus and find out one of the videos of the many that have been posted of me. Why are they trolling you so hard? Because they're evil and they have AIDS. God damn it, Smitty. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Fucking God damn it. I'm not going to get to motherfucker. I'm, no, I'm going to get you, bitch. Back the fuck up, bitch. Motherfucker. You know what? Let me count down to 10. Woosa. I ain't getting in shit, ho. I ain't getting in shit. Fucking sending me voice gifts. Y'all really have me sounding like my damn love. The fuck is wrong with you, bitches? Um, I'm not gonna go through all the. Hello? Security! 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 Um, I'm not gonna go through all the rules again. Um, if you need to inbox me, cause he said it yesterday. Yeah, if y'all need, go to YouTube, please, and find God Zeus talks about the new rules. I'm not gonna go. Through through it with y'all. I'm not going to go through all the rules and answer all y'all's questions. I love y'all down, but we have to move on with whatever we're doing. No tea, no shade. Ask your agency owners if you really are whatever. You need an audition, inbox me. But I'm not going to go through everything. Is security here? No, don't. Please don't kick me out. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Good morning. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good evening. Listen, uh, Zeus, I wanted to, to hit you up on IG just real quick because you know you get down to the bottom and the nitty gritty of shit. Okay, so we have a new host that just came to Bigo and his name is Marquise Moore. He's an actor. Now, there was a gentleman on live yesterday that had a picture up discussing Marquise's alleged charges. I already this know about all that. To, yes, I already know okay. about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I already know you probably got the scoop. Now, it is on there, and a little bit after that situation happened, he did have a suicidal attempt. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the case. I'm not sure what was going on. But, you know, once it does slide across your desk, I can't wait, because we about to get in his ass. Well, I, OG Hood Rich, do you want to come up and speak about that? So let me just tell you, before we even get into our scoop, I came over to this man's live yesterday. Two days ago, sorry. No, yesterday, last night. This man was on live. This Whoever you guys are talking about who has the, the case of beating his two-year-old child and breaking their legs, whatever it is. I came over yesterday. He was screaming, yelling, and saying all these things and kicking people out because he was being trolled, obviously. And people were in his ass. There was a group of ladies up on the panel that was like, God, God, Zeus is trying to help you. Somehow, in some way, shape, or form, I was like, sir, I would give you an opportunity on my platform to tell your story. Like, I don't exactly know everything that happened. In the midst of that, the man was cursing everybody out and then proceeded to say, I don't give a fuck who he is. I'm cursing him out. And I was like, sir, you seem mad and I'm not going to speak with someone who's hostile. You know, you don't need to talk to me. You can go to the other clout chasers, honey. But I was just going to give you a fair and opportunity chance to ask you questions and let you explain. In the midst of this, the man then said, well, fuck him. I don't know care who he is. So I said, well, fuck you then. I said, I will bury you on this app, bitch, and I will drag you to hell. And then he was like, well, fuck you. I will, I will pay $5,000 for anyone right now to find some shit on me. Actually, I'll pay $5,000 to get a hit on this man. And I said, a hit on who? And he said, I'll get a hit on you. I paid money before to get you beat up. I bet you won't drop your address. Where are you at? Where are you at? I said, I'm in New York City. He said, you done fucked up now. You in New York City. You done fucked up. I'm in Brooklyn. Where are you at? So I flew my address across the screen. Then the damn not, the, the lines came down while he was talking shit. And they were like, oh, God, no, he's trying to help you. He's trying to help you. I said, well, he said he's going to beat me up and get hit on me. So then I flew my address across the screen. He said, oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow. I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow. So I said, see me tonight. See me tonight. I just gave you my address, sir. You are upset with me, so I don't know you, but see me tonight. And then in the midst of that, then I got kicked. So I came back today to his live and I said, are you, will you be seeing me today? And then I got muted. So then I left and then he was just talking shit for like 10, 15 minutes, apparently. But I had a conversation with OG Hoodrich. Um, if OG Hoodrich, if you are here and OG Hoodrich um, basically told me that this man is, you know, 
his person and a nice guy and people got him wrong and messed up his story and didn't give him an opportunity. So I told OG, you know, on our phone call that this is not the app for that man then. Because not only is he cursing me out, someone who came in nice to give him an opportunity, but this man is saying he's going to put, he's online talking about how he paid $5,000 before and got his people to beat someone up. He's threatening other people because they're coming in asking just general questions. He's angry. He's drunk. He's hostile and belligerent. No one wants to work with or talk with to anyone and no one gives a fuck what tv show y'all were on no one gives a fuck what tv show you were on no one gives a fuck what whatever blah 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 no one cares about all that so i'll let og speak hey guys hey, okay. <laughs> look at that you came in right in time i was just i was just a z packing shot okay look i was i wasn't even talking about this but you came in right when someone asked me because i guess you know some stuff did slide across my desk and they have been waiting for me to wake it up, but I always give fair and equal opportunity. So when I did wake it up and talk about it, I was going to say, I came to that man's live to say, oh, well, I'll give you an opportunity because this is something that's all around the Beagle streets. But I mean, he's on another level of, of intoxic intoxication and anger. That's what it is, the intoxication and shit, you know, drinking that alcohol, you know, and knowing his history, you know, his history has been downfall, suicidal, stuff like that, you know, but I, I don't knock nobody's hustle. I always want to see everybody do great. I'm just happy that I came across him and made him download that, but I didn't think it was going to be like this, you know, and, um, you know, I'm telling him he needs to focus on his career more than his app, you know, if he can't just be real with, you know, you already gave your testimony know what time it is already so it's not like it's hitting and shit so you know you can't be mad i mean if, you, if that shit taught you know that shit you know happened in the past that shit happened in the past i know a lot about the the checks and shit people was getting you know what i'm saying just to get a story in and you know the girls losing a boyfriend and shit want to abuse their own children and shit to sit here you know how girls some women get when they got a celebrity in their life and shit and the niggas about to jet, jet get out their life they want to sit here and try to do anything Did you say celebrity life. yeah he's he's kind of a celebrity he's been in several movies he was in a uh, g's the gents um when he first started in film he got into this uh, uh piece called g's the gents you know a kid that was troubled in the streets and stuff like that and they were trying to turn a bunch of you know a lot of bad boys into you know gentlemen so he was in that but he was in that he was even hard to deal with Oh. So he was in ATL. He was in. He's in several big movies. You know, even if his little roles, uh, he they still recognize his great work, and people want to work with him. But sometimes his attitude kind of gets in the way. It's just like when I was working with Busy Bone. Busy Bone. If you don't get him on the stage before eleven o'clock, he gonna get drunk and he ain't performing. You know at all. You know so. Yeah, I, I come across those kind of, you know, individuals that, you know, just need some guidance and some direction. Man. Well, hopefully he gets it together, but they're going to, until he gets his sobriety together enough to talk about the situation, people are going to ask questions. I haven't brought it up yet, but it has slid across my desk and I might now just, you know, this is one of those things I might talk about because it's, he's on here. So people like to be aware. So, but like I said, I'm always open to someone, even after putting out a hit and saying, they're going to get me beat up to come over and tell whatever story they need to tell that's, and tell their you side. Know, I, you know, Godzilla, you know what I, when I see that, that's, that's movie talk. You know what I'm saying? That's oh that no, that doesn't, thing. that doesn't bother me. I gave him my address. <laughs> I already know Godzilla because you know, everybody always want to pull up on Godzilla. So. <laughs> I've been on this app long enough this, you know, to know that. Yeah. Every, everybody's a hitman on this motherfucker. Everybody's an uh, internet gangster. So, you know, well, hopefully one day he'll get it together. I don't know the man. I've only interacted with him once in the last 24 hours, and he seems to be a hot, drunk, belligerent, irrelevant mess on this app at least so one day so far thus far like, yes like yes, i said OG, yes. like i said og i'm open because it's a hot topic right now and and open and willing to give it an opportunity if he would like to come clear it up um that is absolutely fine if not i could give two shits because we're, we're still going to talk about it anyway so you know because it slid across my desk but it's 21 dead what do you mean who said that shit I don't what know. Yeah, but you just, <laughs> you just let me know, OG Hood Rich, and you relate, you relate that yeah, to you know, Yeah, well, you know, me and you talking, so, you know, off the app and everything, so, you know, you got my, you, you got my attention, you feel me? Yeah. Well, I got you. Well, thank you, All OG. Right, guys. All Appreciate right. you, man. All right.
All right. Yes, the man he's talking about was in some of these films. I don't know him personally, um, but it's this man. I'll show you right now. I don't know him. I, I, and it's no shit. I don't know him. God damn it. Not the dick. That's old boy from TV. I don't know. I have no clue who he is. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not, I'm, there's a lot of people who come over here who I don't know. He's new to Beagle, yeah. Yeah, I, he's cute but psycho as fuck. He did a lot of Netflix movies. Okay, I just, I, I'm not being fierce when I say this. I don't know him. I don't know him. There's a lot of people who come on. I don't know who he is. There's people who know who he is and there's people who don't. You know what I'm saying? But um, he's been cursing people out. He's been telling people he's going to beat them up. And then there's also a case... If we look, it says Marquise Keeson Moore wanted for cruelty to children, accused of breaking both of his infant daughter's legs, three ribs, a collarbone, and bruising all over her body. Yes. And there's also another report. He put 5K on my head, child. He put 5K on everybody's head, child. So yes, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. But according to OG, who I spoke with, um, you know, it was very much, you know, some bitter, spiteful woman doing some things as well. I don't know, the lady he said did that, he ended back with her and... Cruelty, yeah. So I don't know, he been in a background movie, yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on. He had another baby, yeah. No, it's not a big storyline. It's literally a crazy nigga with some crazy bitches who doing some shit. So he said he ended up marrying his baby mama. I don't know. BMF on Showtime. That's his most recent. Oh. Kudos to him now for getting for being on shows, I guess. Hey, Robert. Hey, Bo Hey, uh, I just want to bring up something. Uh, just that not not too fair. People are gifting you, and uh, when they give you gifts, you uh you go off screen. I think when uh, you have at least a box that you should stay on screen. Well, if people stop gifting me gift that made me look like I have a tumor in my fucking jaw, then maybe I'll stay on the fucking screen, Bowtie. How about that? You white supremacist bitch. Well, it's only fair that you st should stay on screen. Fuck off, because you're giving me rose petals, you bastard. You bastard. Motherfucker. Yeah, so I don't know him. He seems like a nutcase. I don't know any of his movies. He's here. He's been here for two days, and he's got 4,000 beans. Kudos to him. Um, so once I get more information, then we'll circle back around on that case. There was another thing that had a little bit more information on what happened with him in that thing with another screenshot. So when I get that, then we'll circle back around, and I'll read more of it. But um, for right now, it's not too hot of a commodity for me because I want to focus on um, the awards, which we're about to talk about. So I need you guys to gather around because we're about to do nominations for the People Want to Know Beagle Awards. The first thing we're going to talk about before we do talk about that is <laughs> Queen Op and Shell. Now, Queen Op and Shell had been banned from across the street. Um, his television checks must be mighty sparse. No shade. And I'm not trying to be fierce to this man, but honey, but if anybody who has to go to Bego, he's been on Bego for like four days straight sitting in restaurants like drunk I'm like girl if you was doing movies girl you would be wouldn't you be signing contracts but let me mind my business honey because i'm sitting in my house after the movie i just finished and documentary i have to go back to finish next month in la let me mind my business Oh, and I was the leading role in my movie. Mm. Sorry about that. Excuse me. All right. So I did one. He did eight. <laughs> um, P Hub career going off. Go ahead. Okay. My porn hub. Uh, he changed his profile picture. To yours. That's fine. I don't know who you're talking about. Who you talking about? So, 
Let's get into Queen Op and Shell. Now, Queen Op and Shell, thank you guys, just gather gifts, are back across the street, okay? Fuck you trolls. Who are we even talking about? We're talking about a fat woman and a small woman. Um, it has you and a baby on a Zeus. Okay. Cool. Um, so Queen Op and Shell are built like the number 10. Across the street is New York. Fuck you, bitch. Across the street. Thank you, just gally. Oh, don't start dot. Thank you for the thank you for the hundred beans gift dot. Behave. Behave dot. A hundred beans is fine. So yes, they've been over there and they recently got banned um, for Shell showing her enormous titties and massive body. After coming back, Queen Op and Shell were going back to what they're usually doing in their broadcast. Something happened where Shell decided to play with Queen Op. And for the first time that I have seen, put her hands on her. Now people are saying that Shell was playing. I think Shell really meant what she did. Let me show you. Let's watch. Two and a half. I'll talk about the... It's up for my career. It's don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. And I'm fucking put your fucking hands around. Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. And I'm fucking. Why is she hear her head bounce like that? Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. And I'm fucking put your fucking hands around. Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. And I'm fucking put your fucking hands around. Now other people were saying that now other now, now other people were saying that other people were saying that Shell was just playing. I don't think Shell was playing. I think Shell is getting tired of her. I think she's not prego. I think I think I don't think she's giving I don't think she's getting tired of her. Yeah, that page on Instagram is fabulous. Yeah, you can also follow my Instagram, M R C L O S S, also my cash ups. I don't think she's getting tired of her. I mean, I think she's getting tired of her because I think it would have been a little bit different if Shell got up and gave a little tap, a little mush or a little pretend. She said, <laughs> I said, she said, Bing. I think Shell is getting ready to snap. And I think there's going to be a day coming up where Shell is used to everything, but she's having a bad day. She's on her period. She's not in the mood. And Queen is going to be trying her and Shell going to really wear her out. And let me tell you something. Shell's a big girl. She plays the part and looks, you know, tries to act all ditzy and dumb and all of that. But Shell's the type of girl, honey, when she loses it, she going to really lose it. And Queen, I believe she going to bop you. And she going to bop you good. And then she going to fight you. And I think that Queen's going to stop doing what she's doing for show, which is all for a show. But I think Shell is going to be like, bitch, this ain't for a sh No, I don't think she's leaving. I think she's just going to whoop her ass. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. I'm going to fucking put your fucking hands around. Boom. Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Why she bop her head like that? Why she bop her head like that? Just listen to it. Listen to the sound. Listen to the sound. Don't Listen to the sound. Listen to the sound. Y'all ready? Just listen to the sound. Listen to the sound. That was a bitch. That was a... No, girl. What you mean she barely hit her, girl? Her head said... Girl, that was a funk. But she practicing. Because one day she going to be like... And I'm a watch, and I'm a watch, and I'm going key, and I'm going live. I'm going to laugh. So that's what's going on with Queen Op and Shell. Just I'll keep y'all updated when Shell finally snaps, and motherfucking um, start Comic Genius right there. Okay, Co that's Comic Genius. Well, child, if that's the a comedy show. Simming them beans, huh? You have on. I'll pay the postage. I'm dead, Miss Big Dog. Um, <clears throat> if that's Comic. Uh, child, can we see again? No, my love. Go, go, go to YouTube to watch it. Okay, I'm not gonna keep playing the same thing. Um, okay, so that's one thing. Now, 
As I go into my next segment, I want to be very clear. She wanted to hit her hard, yeah. Well, let me just ask y'all before we go to our next segment. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Queen Op and Shell was, do you think um, Shell was joking? Or do you think that she is really getting sick and tired of Queen Op? Y'all come into the audio. What do y'all think? Because y'all have seen it for a very long time. Do y'all think it's going on to where it's, um, could play over. Do y'all think it's going to the point where Shell is getting tired or do you play with her? Just playing with her. Hey, Robert, I think that, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I think that Queen Out, that was a quarter off guard. Because if you see her reaction, she had to turn around like, wait, bitch, no. Like, I think Shell is getting at her wits. And I think that she was off guard, quarter off guard. Do you think she, do you yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Their friendship is 14, their friendship is 14 years. Y'all not still understand the dynamic? Well, this is, I mean, I know the dynamic. She puts shit on her head. She puts pampers and tampons and does all that. But, bitch, I don't know. I feel like a, I feel like she getting ready to get her, to, knock her, to really knock her. Y'all gotta realize when I can't hear you, love. You're far away. Can you hear me? No, you're far away. Not sounding like pumpkin. No, I think it was for a key, but Shell probably took advantage of it and said, Me and knock that. I think it was, but Shell really was like, Okay, <clears throat> this is my one moment, bitch. I think it was for joking for content, but bitch. Hello? Me? I hear you. Yeah, so I feel like she took the app. But you like, I'm going to bop you, whoop your ass. I feel like she is tired of her. But one of these days, she's going to snap. And when she snaps, oh, I want to see that. I think she's going to snap. Thank you, baby. I think she's going to She's going to beat up Queen Op, and then she's going to be sitting right back with Queen Op. I think she's going to wear Queen Op out with a good one, twos, threes, and fours, and then she's going to be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's what I get. Thank you. Thank you, one love. I think that's what she's going to be given. I think she's going, she going to wear her out, and then she's going to sit with her and be like, I didn't mean it, and then sit here and look sad. If you want me to show it again, can I get a 1K gift, my love? Um, check going to hold her hostage till the SWAT comes, okay? She gonna do more than hit her. Yeah, I I think so. I think I I, I don't think she's ever gonna leave, but I think she going. She hey, gonna, hey baby. Can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Um. I I just gotta disagree with you, Robert. I don't think Shell is ever gonna do shit to Queen I. Hey, Pumpkin. Like she's never gonna do nothing. Like she. Queen Op got that girl wrapped around her, uh, wrapped around her finger. Wait, but so you don't think you don't think that you don't think what I just showed you right now was her taking advantage, giving her a good old bop, like a. a... I mean, I feel like I feel like it was for it was for the show. Like I feel like it was planned, but you know she probably did go a little overboard. But I mean, they on camera, so you know Queen Op didn't really do nothing. But I really feel like Shell would not like do that to queen not behind the camera like i don't think so i think that she know what the fuck it is on social media she know how to play her role and she's not gonna cross queen up like that i just don't think that mm, okay. it's like a relationship it's like a it's like a toxic relationship being with uh the opposite sex and you just i mean you just your mind is gone because they just got so much control over you that's how I look at their relationship. Oh, okay. But that's it. Thank you. Um, can we get a 1K gift? Y'all asked me to play it again. Can I get a 1K gift? Yeah. Y'all come in here saying, can I play it? Can I get a 1K gift? Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, love? Hey, baby. Okay. Um, hey, baby. I I don't think Shell is ever going to do anything to Queen Up because I think she's scared of Queen Up for real. You know when they was down in Atlanta, Queen, I put Shell in a hospital. Like, beat her down for real. So I don't think Shell is going to ever come for that girl like that. Because Shell knows she can't whoop her. Oh, wow. 
That's a good point. That is a good point. Thank you, Ali Noel. A dog gets tired. Can I get a 1K before I flip the screen one more time? Please, a Galagit. She can whip her if she fight back. I believe if Shell fought back, she could whip Queen out. I believe if Shell, Shell looked like she got heavy hands. Queen got arrested for that. I believe Shell, yeah, she, Shell looked like she got heavy hands. And the quiet ones like that. And also, I feel like Shell would be so fucking enraged at a time. Like, a tired dog will bite. A snap? Bitch, when you have that type of fucking um, <clears throat> anger in you, it doesn't matter how much somebody might have whooped you before, bitch. You are going to get them. And you are going to get them good. Like, you're going to wear them the fuck out. Um, can we get a 1K or are we going to move on to the next one? Can I get a 1K and I'll show y'all one more time? Hey, Red Velvet, she's going to drag her. Or maybe we're just saying this because a lot of us just wait and hope that one day she gets up and fights back. Maybe we're just saying that. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you, baby. Maybe we're just saying that because one day we hope. All oh, the quiet ones will kill you because we hope she does that. She's going to take several people to pull her off of her. It's given that. It's given that. It's given, it's given, it's given, it's given, bitch. We need a, it's going to be a few of us. Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. Don't have a fucking, put your fucking hands around. Don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bitch. Don't have a fucking, put your fucking hands around. Don't fucking play with me. Don't 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 play with me, bitch. I'm out of fucking... Put your fucking... Child? Don't fucking play with me. I don't know. Don't we'll see, though. Okay, now. Are y'all ready for... Okay, she did not... I don't think she expected it to be... I think she expected it because it was for a key. But I don't think she expected it to be that hard. Her head was like... I don't think she expected her. Just saw her one time around the eye. About time. They saying about time. For y'all who just came in, I don't think she expected it. So we were asking, do you guys think that Shell will ever get up and really whoop Queen Op? Or do you think that, you know, we know it was for a key, but did she sneak one in there? Bop it. Now, y'all ready for a good old... Hold on, let me show. Robert. Hmm? <laughs> See, like you said, right? I agree. Shell got them big ass hands. If she wanted to, maybe she can't overpower Queen and physically whoop her ass, but she could definitely give Queen a tussle. She could. And the other day on the live, Queen took her bloody pad off and Shell begged her to put it on her head and she wore it all night. Shell loved that shit. No, I, I think know. they both just as sick as each other. Perfect. That girl ain't going nowhere. They both love it. <laughs> but yeah. Bye, Robert. I love the hair. Thank you. <clears throat> Shell too slow and queen quick. Well, let me tell you something. She may be slow, but she's heavy handed. And if you know what I know, bitch, a heavy handed bitch. If one day Shell woke up and said, you know what? I really don't want to do this. And queen was like, do it. And she was like, no. And Shell was like, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Queen would be knocked the fuck out. A heavy handed person will, will, they will get you together. That's why whenever I fought, like if I, if I'm going at it with a, a big bitch or a bitch with heavy hands. They might not be the quickest, but if they land, a heavy hand will knock you the fuck out. Now we know Shell loves everything, but we just saying maybe we're just maybe we're just saying maybe we're just saying this because one day we hope Shell will stand up, fight back. Now, are y'all ready for a good old read? Now, I like me some Ivy. If you guys don't know who Ivy is, Ivy is the a lady who used to do the morning show. Um, she's quite known for getting on live and doing a morning show, doing recaps and things of that nature and being on a panel with some other people around in the churches. Okay. Stand up, fight back. Um, so Ivy the other day, um, black belt is given, I gave you diamonds and pearls. Okay. My big, my ex big as fuck and he's beat friends on it. Okay. Mink, 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 mink. So Ivy the other day got on her scooter. And was driving around on her scooter, riding around, blah, 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 blah. Yes, y'all, we need gala gifts. Can you guys send gala gifts, please? Run it up, run it up, run it up. Because we're about to hear a good old read. And this is the first time I've heard a good old read. Thank you, President Gucci. Shell is not slow. Then their character... Oh, yeah, I think Shell is smart. I think she's doing it in character. I don't think Queen Op is dumb either. I think they're both doing it, yeah. So, Ivy, the other day, was on live a few days ago. And she was riding around on her scooter. And I came into the room and saw that she had almost two, 3,000 people on her scooter. And she dropped her phone. We were riding on the streets. 
It was actually good, funny fucking content. Is Ivy the first person who's rode on a scooter on the Beagle Live app? No. Is she the first person who's rode on a motorcycle? No. Is she the first person who's rode on a skateboard? No. There have been plenty of people who have rode on scooters and done crazy things way before Ivy. It was hilarious. It was funny. The people in the comments were having a good time. It was really good. She almost had 4,000 people. In the midst of this, Ivy came on live the other day and was being trolled and bullied by 21's people because 21 used to ride around on a scooter attached to a shopping cart that actually made the news. So Ivy riding around on a plain scooter was receiving a lot of hate and backlash from 21's people because of the fact that she was riding around. It seemed, and we're not going to mute anyone in 21's people, if anyone is in here who watches 21, but it seemed like a lot of jealousy and envy because their favorite 21 wasn't doing what they liked them to be doing and people were just picking. So... Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, <clears throat> in the midst of all of that, Ivy went live and had some words to say to 21. Now, I will say this much. I have never heard Ivy going at it back and forth with a read. And Ivy, sometimes she looks like she smells like cat pee. But I will say, I listened to this, and I'm going to let y'all listen to this for about three to four minutes. Ivy, had, Ivy was reading. She was reading boots so i'm gonna let y'all listen to what ivy said and i'm gonna let y'all decide do you think what ivy's saying is making sense or do you think 21 fans or supporters of 21 that ivy is just jealous of y'all's favorite childless crackhead we need 2k we need 2k really quick ivy was talking about 21's kids for a reason that's why 21 support says something well i'm gonna say this there's a difference between reading someone just to read and reading a bitch with facts. Ivy was reading with facts. Sorry. <sighs> and facts are some of the best reads that are out there. Hey, Gucci. Um, We need 2K really quick and I'm going to flip the screen. And the people were saying Ivy was jealous of her. We need 2K. And we're going to flip the screen. 2K. <clears throat> Gala, please. Well, I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide. It's a man. It's a man's world. I'm dead. We need 2K. I know y'all arguing in the comments. We need 2K. Chicago. Hi, baby. Are you doing anything gala? Chicago, let me know, my love. We need 2K, y'all. I don't think Ivy jealous of 21. Well, I'm going to let you guys hear what Ivy had to say in retaliation towards 21 supporters coming over and making commentary about her riding her scooter and things of that nature. Now, what I think happened most likely is Ivy was baited into making some type of response or whatever as the 21 supporters came over and started saying things to her most likely. Thank you. And when she responded and, you know, things of that. So, God damn it. That's not the 2K gift I wanted. I wanted a gala gift. I need a gala gift. We need a 1K gala gift, not a 2K face one, bitch. Thank you, Chicago. I'm sorry you have to see me like this, Chicago. Fuck you, bitch. You dirty bitch. Thank you, Chicago. You dirty bitch. Not you, Chicago. Dr. S. You fucking bitch. You cunt. You're a Jew. You're a bastard, bitch. Motherfucker. You goddamn son of a bitch. Thank you, Chicago. Thank you, y'all. Why would you throw a voice? Oh, my fucking God. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with you bitches? Do y'all not have a fucking life? God damn it. God damn it. Thank you, Chicago. Chicago, hold your tickets for me. Hi, King Sire. Hold your tickets for me, motherfucker. I ain't coming to a goddamn thing. Get this goddamn voice changing bitch off of me. God damn it. God. Son of a bitch. Anyways. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Okay. Beans is, beans is not beans, Mr. Poon. You white supremacist, you Mr. Rogers looking son of a bitch, fuck you. Anyways, sorry everyone. So Ivy had some words to say, and this is the first time I myself have had have heard Ivy really going in and giving the girls a one, two, threes, and fours. Excuse me? Now didn't a good white man tell you to stay in the camera? No, fuck that white man. So we're about to flip the screen and hear what Ivy has to say. Now, even though Ivy looks like possibly a sweaty homeless person, she has some valid facts 
in terms of her speaking her read. I've never heard her read like this either. This was the first time I've ever heard Ivy actually read. I like Ivy myself, um, but she made some statements. You know, there's some things in here that are up and down, but we're about to watch this um, and hear what Ivy has to say for about two minutes. And I'm about to let y'all be the judge of whether or not Ivy was reading. If she was reading for, don't do, no, I like me some Ivy. I like, I like her some Ivy. She just looks like she lives in a tent. But I love Ivy. She's, she's fabulous. We need um, 300 beans really quick. But Ivy don't have her daughter. Well, I'm going to let you guys decide. Hey, Trey Moji's legs. We need th uh, 400 beans. Oh, yeah. 21 mess with her every time they live. Yeah, I know. That's why Ivy went crazy. I'm going to show you on just a second. Stop sending me trans flags, bitch. Stop sending me trans flags, bitch. We need a few, uh, like 300 beans. Hi, Irish. Um, if y'all just have gala gifts, please ignore the trolls. They have no class and no couth. Thank you, Big Poon. I asked for gala gifts and you send me other shit, Poon. You're a disgrace to the white men, you colonizer. Um, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Okay, let's listen to what Ivy had to say. And fuck you, bitch. Girl, get the fuck out of here. It was cute at first. Oh, she wanted to get a career. Bitch, what the fuck is you doing about your career? Huh? Let me know what the fuck you doing, bitch. What are you doing to make it better for your kids? It started off like that. It's been three years. Two years. Sorry, everyone. I'm shaking because I had a stroke. How many birthdays have you missed? How many funerals have you missed? Bitch, let's get with it. Huh? Ooh, she said funerals. Ooh. Gee, don't, don't go there with me, ho. Don't nobody got to try and be like you, bitch. You're a mad-ass hater and it's showing. Not the funeral. I swear to God. I swear to God, I love how God works. I love how he works, bitch. All the colors coming out, bitch. You a jealous ass. I've been mad since Facebook, ho. And, bitch, and everybody wonder why the fuck we beefing. Because it always thought that, bitch, we just lined up. I thought we squashed your hating ass. We squashed that hating ass shit that you doing. Oh, no, you're still hating, bitch. You're a devil, bitch. And you always call me fake. So, so, I, that's another reason why. Because you you know me for seven years and you talking to the comment. Bitch, you're jealous. I just sat here and got $50 in like five minutes and didn't even ask for nothing, bitch. You're a mad ass bitch. I swear to God. I want $50. I swear to God on life. You can ask them. I swear to God, some lady came and said, did you check your CA? I didn't ask for shit. That's why you're mad. You're jealous for what? I want to see all us eat, bitch. I don't want to be the only one motherfucker. Bitch, you the only motherfucker that's greedy. You took tab clout and then tossed tab to the side. Took bread to clout and then tossed bread to the side, bitch. Took pee clout and tossed. And you ain't take pee shit, actually. I'm just saying. Bitch, you clout chasing your way to the top and leaving your kids. You care more about Bigo than you care about your motherfucking kids. Girl, you got me fucked the fuck up. Don't come over here trying to rain on my motherfucking parade. Bitch, I just got my kids ready for school. I just get made sure my motherfucking kids ate this morning. What about you? Ooh. Huh? I wasn't live doing all that weird ass shit, bitch. My kids is gone and I'm gone. Ooh. Huh? Fuck is you talking about? Motherfuckers always talking that shit. Oh, Ivy, you get drunk. Ivy this, Ivy that. Bitch, but I bet you my kids are good. Ooh. Huh? Yeah, I'm struggling, bitch. I am. If I can motherfucking go and motherfucking clock in at a job every day and not worry about my motherfucking son being fucked up while I'm gone without this motherfucking shit that almost happened to him, bitch, I do it too. Bitch, I don't do this shit just because I feel like I want to be lazy, bitch. I want to work, bitch. I want to own businesses, bitch. I want to do what the fuck I got to do, bitch. But I guarantee you I'm not giving up on my motherfucking kids to do it, bitch. Wow. Okay, let me flip the screen so I don't get banned because I know the new rules. Hey, y'all. We're going to finish listening to the read. Let me talk to somebody in the comments really quick so it looks like I'm interacting. Hey, y'all. Virgo chick, you see that, girl? Hey, y'all. Yes. Okay, we're going to finish hearing the read, okay? Because she is clearing. And I'm going to let y'all I'm gonna let y'all comment when, when she's finished. But I ain't never heard her clear like this. She said, how many funerals have you missed? Oh. You hated on me? <laughs> Fucking weird, bro. It's like, damn, let motherfuckers live, bitch. Nobody got a copy off you. I wasn't even thinking about you when I did the scooter shit. See? And then when I first rode the scooter, I didn't even show y'all the damn shit. Then I was like, fuck it, let me see if I can find a way to just, you know, since I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Let me see. What the fuck is that? Some of it came from the scooter damn. shit, y'all. <clears throat> the fuck? But that's what the devil do. He try to come take your energy, your shine, and your light. Um, what the fuck is she doing? Hating this man, bitch. Y'all see, this, this is how you know the hatred is real. She came in this bitch and didn't even start to be gay. She didn't even start to be gay. Normally, she'll try to beef for beans, right? Why you ain't start to be gay? 
That's how you know that bitch been a hater, bro. I swear to God, what you want, what you want me to do? What you want me to do, bitch? You want me to just, what, what? You want me to just stop going live? That's why I said, one day I was live before I told y'all, I was like, damn, it's like motherfuckers want me dead. <coughs> like, y'all y'all already did this, already did that. That's how I know 21 be the one trolling me. At first, I thought it was Ashley, and I actually, you know what I'm saying, feel bad for blaming her on all this shit. On, 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 on trolling me and shit. I'm like, I ain't about Bitch, I swear to God, whole time it probably was your ass, bitch. All my kids probably in the group chat, Discord, so what's all your trolls to come up and troll me? My am is on y'all ass, though. Fuck what you talking about, bitch. I be even telling my am is them, y'all. Don't, don't do this, don't, don't, don't that. Man, fuck y'all. Y'all some hating ass mad bitches. Bitch, I do everything on my own. Bitch, ain't nothing I'm doing. You got to do with 21. My first step to be 21 is getting rid of my motherfucking kids, so. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Because that's what you did. You got rid of your kids first, and then you got rid of your house. Damn. Then I'm going to get rid of my crib. Then I'm gonna go live in hotels. Then I'll be like you, bitch. Damn. Don't fucking say because I'm riding a fucking scooter that I have to ride because my car's gone. I see if I, I had my car. If I had my car riding a scooter, then I'll see why you think I'm trying to be like you, bitch. You ain't, ain't none of them doing ever. No shit. And, 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 and any of that bum ass shit you doing. She is clearing her child. When have you ever showed the streets of your city, bitch? When have you ever turned your camera around and roll like that, bitch? Grandma, mama, you ain't the only motherfucker one that have motherfucking goddamn scooters, bitch. Girl, shut the fuck up. Bitch, you're just mad. You're just mad. How about somebody want to be like you, bitch? How about when I was the first one to take a trip, me and Joe? We was the first me to greet. How about the fuck you acting exactly like me when you finally went out of town? Then that's what really, really, really made you mad. Because I made that trend for you. And ever since Okay, you went, I don't know nothing about none of that, but let's just get back to this read. That whole time it probably was your ass, bitch. This, oh, this kids, read right here. This, course, so all your this is a train. read. Hold on. My am is on y'all ass, though. Wait, wait. What this, you talking about? this part right bitch, here coming up. I be even telling my am is them, y'all. Don't, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't that. Man, fuck I had to be one. Bitch, I do everything on my own. Bitch, ain't nothing. Hey, boss. I'm doing. You got to do it. 21. My first step to be 21 is getting rid of my motherfucking kids. So, because that's what you did. You got rid of your house. Then you got rid of your house. Then I'm going to get rid of my crib. Then I'm going to go live in hotels. Then I'll be like you, bitch. Don't fucking say because I'm riding a fucking scooter. But I have to ride because. My Damn. I'm not even going to lie. I have heard some reads. I don't know if she took some. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And you could be 21 fans in here. That's fine. You could disagree. I have heard some reads in my life. But baby, she was giving Tammy PA with the mouth. Like she was giving. And y'all can't say have other people said this. No, baby. People have said things. You can get read in a variation of ways. Just say your friend. It's okay. Just say your good girlfriend got read. It's okay. Don't be like, oh, we all heard that before. No, ma'am, this mama's because a good reader can read you in 20,000 different ways about one thing, ma'am. Just say your girlfriend got cleared. And if you don't agree with it, that's fine. But that was a clear. Like, I don't know if she was, I don't know if Tammy P.A. and Keith Jones just gave her the spirit of a one, two, three. But, I mean, she said, you attended. Robert, do that video keep going? Because right after you ended it, she was still clearing her. She said, you were on your first trip to Miami, bitch, you haven't been sane since. Like, she was still clearing her after that, like, just chewing there was like two more, There was, like, two more minutes of it. Oh, my God. She, she, she chewed her ass today. So, I don't know. I ain't playing shit again. I'll play it again if I get a dragon. Because y'all want me to play a whole goddamn video? Give me a dragon, okay? Or go watch it your damn selves. If I get a dragon, then we'll play it again, and then we can review. Because y'all got me fucked up. I play a whole goddamn video, and y'all be sitting here right there watching it while I'm giving commentary and everything. And y'all, she's going to Miami Thanksgiving, so who cares? Okay, so there's some of y'all in here who are 21 fans. So why do you not think she cleared it? Do you think that she was not saying facts? Do you think that she, do you think that she, um, someone is jealous of someone else? What do you guys think? I, I love you too, baby. What do y'all think exactly is going on? What do y'all think? Do y'all think Ivy is jealous? Do y'all think Ivy had every right to main, uh, mention the things that she was saying? It wasn't original. How is it not original? Come on up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We, you know, what do, what do y'all think? Do y'all, some of y'all think it, it wasn't? Baby, she read her for filth. And it wasn't just a read, it was facts. Cause that's what been like, 21 be doing. She lost her kids. She lost like, she missed funerals, she missed birthdays. She also was like, I've been selling pussy for some weed. That's what I'm saying. That was straight off the dome. Yeah, that wasn't a rehearsed read. Well, you know, Ivy was minor.
I'll be friends. Hey, Robert. Hey, baby. The 21 um, fans, let's be clear. Demi already aired it out. 21 don't give a fuck about those kids. Demi already said that she never called the kids. Cash, cash, the kids. Cash. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie to you. I think after months and months and months, almost more than almost a year of seeing her not with her kids, mm -hmm. I think we all see that by now. Thank you. <laughs> I think it is blatantly obvious. This is a conversation. I agree with you. Hey, Robert. Can hey. you hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I just feel like. I like 21 too, but I just feel like every dog has his day. So yeah, she got cleared for sure. I mean, even everybody get cleared. No shade. So this started because Ivy was, well, from what I'm understanding, Ivy was being trolled. Ivy's delivery, yeah. And I've never heard Ivy clear like that. That's a clear, that's a clear. And a clear doesn't mean have to mean the person is present. You can just clear a bitch in general by just having a good read. She had a good fucking read. The read had massive facts. Like, it was just fact after fact. And it was the delivery. If I wanted to be you, I would be not. And the fact that the read had to do with something they both have in common, which is children. And then she dissected. Okay, let's start from the top. It started from the top. They had something in common in the read. And then if you go down and you break off, you have the children part that's attached to the top with the family dynamic and then the read dissected into who's with the kids and who's without the kids and then the read from the right was with the kids was talking about ivy taking her kids to school and things of that nature but the left the people without the kids then dissected to one of the children being dead and then the other one's not being in custody and then the other one with the read with the not custody part was dissected into not custody but also when they were in custody the kids were being taken care of were the ones who were in custody with the dissecting of the custody part was talking about how the kids while in custody are being taken care of and have food and fed so if you break it down and you do the circle diagram and you just come together you just see that god damn <clears throat> the anatomy of a filthy read by robert claus fractions okay okay well, what ivy failed to mention was 21 over there playing with brian and that hi to the you know who Instead of going home and play with her damn kids, okay? And another motherfucking thing was this. Ivy can't really talk too much about giving away kids and keeping kids. Because, girl, you gave away one and kept two. Bitch, shut up. Y'all both drug addicts. Y'all both bad mothers. Y'all both embarrassing ghetto hood rat bitches. I don't care for neither one of them nasty nigga bitches if I had to say so. <laughs> Not thank you, caller. <laughs> thank you, caller. <laughs> now that's a real. That wasn't no motherfucker real. Let me tell your dirty motherfucker got my fast some bitch. I almost motherfucking got in a fucking goddamn death situation with my daughter, bitch. The reason why my daughter is not with me is so she could survive and still be here, bitch. See my daughter every day. Still go take her gifts on Christmas and her birthday. Still take her with me when I go to fuck out, ho. I don't do this shit on life for weird bitches like you, ho. How about you worry about your motherfucking self, bitch? And drugs wear, bitch. I went to drug classes and took drug tests and all that shit because of weird ass bitches like you, ho. Mind your motherfucking business. And worry about why the fuck you on a fake ass page and won't cam up, you ugly, empty mouth ass bitch. Cause as far as I'm concerned, you sit on that couch, sold up, nasty and dirty as fuck, bitch. You got me fucked the fuck up, ho. On my mama, my kids come first. On oh, Jesus Christ, you got me fucked up. The shit you see on this motherfucking life ain't got shit to do with the fuck I do when I caught that camera off. You stupid, dumb ass, ugly, and medium ass bitch. I went and took my kids to the doctor yesterday, bitch. And I did what the fuck I had to do for my kids, bitch. And my kids eating every day. Bitch, and I wake up to him every day. Bitch, mind your motherfucking business, you ugly ass troll. No name, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Wait, Ivy, wait, Ivy, come back up. Ivy, come back up. Because I ain't never heard Ivy clear the way she was just clearing 21. Ivy, come back up here, please. Child, she said what she said. No, bro. Hey, baby. I, I, know because I have seen people try you and you, you know, you do, you, uh, people talk their shit. What the fuck caused you? to clear 21 the way you like what happened because i said she's rode her scooter she's minding her business why the fuck it, it, bitch there's been plenty of people who rode scooters skateboards bikes the car what the fuck happened to have you chew her ass 
the way you cleared her, the like what the fuck? And you know, and you know, you my brother, so you know I'm not like that. You know, I just like that's why I, I, I said she's she not like that. She's so sweet. Yeah. So, so about this twenty one lying me like a week ago, right? And I was like twenty one. Why the fuck are you always mad at me? But when it comes to a nigga, you be wanting to suck that daddy dick. Bitch, you so mad at me for what? Bitch, I watched you beg to get a keys to the streets when I was already getting thousands of views when you were getting five views, bitch, 20 views, bitch. So when she stole Tab, clout, Tab always lied with a big ass booty on Facebook. She stole her clout and then dogged her out in the group chat. She's a fucking thief. She steal everybody motherfucker goddamn anything. And then she try to make people feel sorry for, oh, well, I have a sick daughter. Oh, well, I got five kids. Oh, my baby daddy and shit. And some motherfucker saw that that bitch called and made him lose jobs so he could watch some kids so she could be on live and act dumb. Then, bitch, I, I we talked. I thought we squashed the people. I said, bitch, you stay in your lane. I stay in mine. We cool. So I ride my scooter because I lost my car. If I got to go anywhere big, I'll take an Uber. But if I'm on a scooter, bitch, I got a job, bitch. I'm going to let my people see where I'm going and what I'm doing. They have nothing to do with what the fuck you're doing driving a grocery cart with your eyes like this because you don't want nobody to see how big your eyeballs is in your mouth closed so they won't see your fucking fucked up ass grill, bitch. It's not a character. Bitch, you're hiding who you really are. That empty ass motherfucker tooth that fall out and swell up every time you suck a dirty dick. Them eyeballs big as hell protruding out your motherfucking eyes and they go pop out if you get angry. That's why you got to keep it closed like this when you're reading with your dumb ass. So when we squash that beef here she comes talking about why you trying to beat me and then start trying to read me over again bitch you can't read me bitch you are a read within yourself bitch i go through what i go through but i go through it with my kids so you talk about oh you're old bitch you are about four years younger than me bitch you look older than me girl get the fuck out of here you can't judge me i'll get tired of that shit motherfuckers study promoting that shit they want to see that bitch die they might as well go ahead and get a fucking friend ready they pay her to go do drugs and get drunk and say fuck her kids oh i'm going to better my career i'm going to better my career what career bitch you drink and get, get drunk and get fucked all day <laughs> bitch you ain't think about the kids but you want to talk about me bitch shut the fuck up period then all her judging ass motherfucking fans, y'all can shut the fuck up too because y'all promote that weird ass shit. Cause, that shit weird. Because cause Ivy, they've tried to say a few times in the process of this, and I was letting people come up and speak their mind, but they were saying, I, I'm going to let the person come back up, but they were saying that you gave up one of your children, so you're no different from 21. No, I didn't give up my child. I actually have a whole police record behind everything that I did. And I see my daughter every fucking day. I was damn near killed. I had a big ass shotgun in my face. I was choked until I couldn't breathe. And after he let me go, I was damn near dead because I still couldn't breathe. I had to get rushed to the hospital. That's when I found out I was pregnant. And when I found out I was pregnant, I told his mom and them that I was pregnant, but I might have to get an abortion. But that's when I found out it was too late because I didn't want no baby by that fucking killer. Because he probably, he, he went to jail for uh I think it was like he killed somebody, but it was like they made it out for self-defense. So I'm like, damn, that could have been me. But he told me if he ever saw me walking up the street with his baby, he was going to shoot both of us in our fucking head. Mind you, my daughter's 14 years old. That was 14 fucking years ago. So I was young as fuck and I was scared as fuck. So the only thing I said, you know what? I'm going to give my baby somewhere safe where she ain't got to be with me. So if I'm walking through them streets and get yeah. fucked up, I'm getting fucked up by myself. Yeah. After I was realizing, like, nigga, fuck you, I ain't scared of you, the shit was already set in stone, and I couldn't get my daughter back. But I go see my daughter every fucking chance I get. So I don't give a fuck. I'm not 21, bitch. I go see my child. And if I got a cam up to go live to prove it, I will do that. Bitch, but I don't have to. Fuck Bigo. These hoes gonna judge or not judge. I don't give a fuck. Were you, was but there, at the end of the day, there, you, you there was, know what the fuck going on. There was, was there drugs involved back then as well, Ivy, with all of that? No, I never had did drugs back then. Like, I never knew nothing about no drugs. I got laced. Um, when I was like, shit, it was about like, shit, 10, she was already born and shit like that. And it was like 10 years ago. So she was already like four or five years old. I was with my friends and, um, they had some shit that smelled weird, but it was in a blunt. And I'm, so y'all know me, I'm oblivious to like a lot of shit. So I wasn't thinking, but I was like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Cause I knew it had a weird smell to it. And he's like, oh, you don't want to know what this is and shit like that weird shit. So we rotating blunts. I got weed. They got whatever that was in that blunt. Come to find out it was PCP. I got laced with that shit and I had to go to a fucking crazy hospital because I didn't even know I was smoking that shit. And I ended up cutting dude ass the fuck off. But, you know, when years came and I was telling one of my other friends about it, she was like, oh, girl, you got to know how to smoke it. And she said, I smoke sometimes from time to time. So that's what made me smoke it again. And I was getting enticed to smoke it with her. She was telling me, girl, let's go smoke. I'll show you how to smoke it. And, you know, I was experimenting with it, but I ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? I just stopped smoking it on my own. And motherfuckers still bring it up like I give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Suck my dick. When hoes call CPS, I take drops. My drops clean. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They could judge and try to make me look bad. But, bitch, I ain't doing nothing but still going to come off on top. Because, bitch, how can you try and kill me with lies? You can only kill me with the truth. 
Bitch, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I've been through some shit, bitch, and I'm here, and I'm back. How y'all, I just don't good. understand how y'all gonna, I just don't understand, and this is no shade, but how y'all gonna tell somebody they're lying about their story? Y'all like to do that with everybody. All right, that's why I don't even read comments. I, it's I it's no shade. Fuck. Hey, maniac. Okay, just a second, Ivy. Hold on, because somebody came up here. I just don't understand. If the story changes a million times, okay, you can question things, but baby, y'all be telling people they like. Go ahead, long ass ride. Okay, Robert, she's lying because she said that Wayne put the bitch on PCP. Which one is it? Your friend hooked you on the cracker, bitch, was your man on the cracker and you got on the with him. She making it up. Like, you not, she making a clip. Show me a clip where I said that. Show me a clip where I said that. Show me a clip where I said that. Bitch, you made that shit up. Bitch, tear him up and tear him up in my face. Look me in my eyes and tell me I said that. Because you so much for that you got right in there. Bitch, I never said that. Wayne already said that the reason why he knew about PCP was because of me, bitch. I said myself. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You a mad ass fan and you're loud and you're fucking wrong. Bitch, I can tell my story better. You a lying ass mad bitch. That can't damn up. And that's not happening with your life. And your mama probably a crackhead. You probably a crackhead. Your nigga a crackhead. Bitch, you real flop. Bitch, you messed up in your own life. And you think you gonna fuck me up with this bitch that wiped your pussy with your hand, bitch. I can't argue with a pussy head. Bitch, you can't take your kids out. You mad ass fuck. Bitch, you don't have to with my dog. I'm not doing my dog. I'm not doing my dog. I'm not doing my dog. Okay, what I want you to do, what I want you to do or anybody to do is I want y'all to come on up and provide a receipt of Ivy's story changing somewhere from what she just said. Please, please, come through. And I'll give, I'll cash out the $50. I'll cash out the $50. If they could come up here and tell me something different. Bitch, I, I'll come in here telling y'all my shit. I ain't got to tell y'all hoes nothing. Think about it. It's true. I ain't got to tell y'all nothing. Go ahead, Big Energy. Well, PCP is not a known drug down here in South Carolina where Wayne is from. So that's hard to believe. Exactly. I never said that. I, Wayne, Wayne used to do crack. Wayne was cleaning himself up. Wayne was being nosy one day when I was dipping off with her. And I was lying to Wayne. Wayne didn't know I was smoking. So one day he thought I was cheating and all of that. And that's when I just said, fuck it. I'm going to just sit in my house. We just going to go in my attic and smoke. He came up there. And he was like, what the fuck y'all doing? I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, nigga, I'm smoking this with my friend. I smoke this like every once in a blue moon, like probably once every couple months, you know, with my friend. And he was like, let me hit it. I'm like, hell no, nigga. Why would you hit this? Like, no. He's like, man, let me hit the shit, man. I let him hit it. And that was it. Wayne has never done PCP down here in South Carolina. Never. He never He's did. never been to PCP head. He didn't know all. what the fuck PCP was. He never knew what that shit was. And I never said that. I told the truth about my own shit. And I actually felt bad. That's why half the time when he used to, you know what I'm saying, smoke on his own, it made me feel bad. Because I'm like, damn. Now this nigga out here fucking just thinking he know what the fuck he got going on. And he don't. Yes, hey y'all, I just want to say one thing. If y'all been watching Ivy, y'all know Ivy told this her story a thousand times, and her story never changed. Never changed. Take that shirt off. Turn that shirt off. Right, be butter become, but they gon' they gonna hate and try and make it paint narratives and shit. I don't give a fuck and it ain't nothing to brag on. Actually, it is a sensitive subject, but when I get emotional like that and get very passionate like that, it's like bitch, why would you come up here and lie? Everybody even saying it. Everybody said a bitch, my story never changed. It ain't nothing to brag on. But when motherfuckers piece of pee, piece of pee, like, bitch, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I ain't did that shit in like three years, bitch. Y'all can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. It was you just know what I'm saying? I was lost in the sauce because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It took me a long time to know that, that shit wasn't right. That's it. I was late. They said you wouldn't be okay. cool. They said you wouldn't be speaking with 21 here. Were you lying with 21 and I'm just confused as to why y'all. I was lying with 21. I'm confused as to why. I, I really am confused as to why y'all don't think that she wouldn't be having the same energy and speaking to 21 if she was here that she has currently. But uh, ain't that what we did this whole live consist of of me reading the fuck out of what the fuck is they talking I mean, about? Yeah, that's what you were doing in your live. So I'm a little confused. I'm not trying to. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just keeping a keeping a buck here. Um, that that's where this came from. So did she come over and start trolling you, or did her people come over <laughs> and start trolling you? So 21 always lie me. I never lie that bitch. She always lie me. She always concerned about me. And I line her, see what she on. But if she talking shit, I like, you know what I'm saying, online. Because I'm like, bitch, I ain't finna give you my energy. Sometimes she say shit that'll hit a nerve. So I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you mean? Bitch, ain't nobody copying off you. Bitch, ain't nobody thinking about you. Bitch, nobody give a fuck about you. But we just squashed our beef like a week ago. We literally talked calmly and damn that settled our differences. Mm -hmm. So, wow. that shit was weird.
Well, it was an epic, one of the best reads. So thank you, Ivy. I appreciate you for coming on up here. No problem. You know I love you, bro. I come over anytime. All right. Yeah, anything else. Fuck these hoes. Baby. Wow. Ooh, that just blew up. Y'all, can we get to this fourth fourth box? Fourth box. Well, she said she's waiting for somebody to provide a receipt of her, change of her story. She'll give you $50. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm definitely not a huge fan of 21 either. I've definitely popped in her live a couple of times, but I am right there with Ivy on the, y'all basically just paying this girl to die. Like, honestly, y'all see her every fucking day, drunk as shit, fucking mouth not moving, eyes, like she said, bulge the fuck out. Falling out, passing out. Even Breon said pissing on herself, laying in it for hours, just doing everything but taking care of herself or her children. And I just, as a normal, regular, regular human being, cannot support that shit. Why the fuck is we paying you to sit around doing this dumbass shit? I wouldn't do that to nobody in my family, anybody I call a friend, anything. Why the fuck is y'all on Ivy head? She don't do nothing but be real. Y'all see her kick it, but y'all mostly see her taking care of her fucking self and her kids. Nobody can say that about 21. She's dogging out everybody in her circle and not doing a damn thing to take care of herself or anybody else. And y'all paying her to watch this bitch do the shit? Hell no. But love you, Robert. Thank you for letting me up. You, you look beautiful. Too. Thank you. Well, let's say this. Welcome to b -Go. If y'all think 21 is bad, what about AJ? What about Detroit Thoughts? What about all these other people? Welcome to Beagle. Welcome to social media. And when she does die, they're going to look for the next person to pay. They'll probably go on over to Detroit Thought and be like, oh, we're going to wait for him to overdose. Let's give him $10 in his cash out. This is just the, the, the way these people are. Y'all just have to get over it. Stop picking y'all brain and trying to figure out why people do it. Hello, my beautiful king. Hey, baby. With that uh, Rick James do and keys to the janitor street necklace you got on. You cute. You cute. Work it. Work your set. Anywho, my whole thing with all this, I can't judge anybody. All I know is I am a black woman with two black young girls. And I, uh, and I see a lot of black women on here. But there are only certain that I'll give a uh, gift. And if they're certain, I'll just sit there and look at them because, you know, whether or not, whatever I say to them, it ain't going to matter. They're going to do their thing. Okay. And everybody get up here and do their own shit. But I'm telling you this. I love Ivy because regardless of her faults, and we all got some fucking skeletons in the closet, she's always had those children there and she kept going. You understand what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. You know, we can't change these folks. But I love Ivy. And you know how I gift because I gift your little cute ass all the time. But, you know, Ivy, I, I didn't even send her a CA just because. It ain't the sending gloat, but it's just to say, keep going, sister. Don't stop. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Period. Anyway, love you, my Zeus. Thank you, baby. Let me charge, recharge, and do some chat. Thank okay, you. Bye. Thank you, baby. Love you more. Hey Zeus, I'm just gonna say this the other day, 21 was on live and said to her supporters, y'all work for me, pick up an extra hour so y'all could support me. And I was shocked that people, the amount of money that people sent her to do nothing. It's crazy, like they, they wanna see the girl die or something. Yeah, they do, yes. And that's so sad. But I'm going to get down. I just want to say that. You keep doing you, boo, with your handsome self. Thank you. Come on, y'all. Run it up, y'all. We almost to this. Ready for the Super Woman Awards. I need nominations. Hey, Zeus. How you doing? It's me again. Um, Just real quick. I'm not sure. You know, it's a couple things I want to say. People bring up the fact that Ivy take trips with, you know, the church and everybody. Y'all don't know what the fuck Ivy do for her kids when these cameras is off. We don't know if she taking them to trips and taking them on Disney. And that. Everything is not for us. You feel me? Now, what we can say is that bitch 21 ain't did a motherfucking thing. She ain't took them motherfuckers to the store for a bag of Cheetos. Ain't took them hoes to nowhere, bitch. Okay? 
Let's be real. She ain't took them to see a movie. She don't even know if them kids is being bullied at school, okay? Now, it's 2022. Let's be real. We don't have no motherfucking books to be parents. But Ivy does what the fuck she can and what she needs to do, whether she asks her supporters or not. 21, don't say Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, rest in peace to her motherfucking children. So stop bringing up Ivy and her taking trips. Let that woman motherfucking live. And yes, I'm a female disguising my motherfucking voice, bitch. Start being nosy. Oh. We need 9K, y'all. 9K. Hey, Robert. Not Dyke Tease. <laughs> hey, baby. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I just want to say, take that shit off and let me hit you from the back. Oh, no, ma'am. Not pa Yes, we need 9K. We need 9K, y'all. 9K. I just would like to say that I respect a woman more who's struggling with their children than a low down dirty ass bum ass bitch that don't have their children. So you're saying you choose one evil over the other, one one of the lesser evils as you would say. You'd have more respect for someone who's going through the process of whatever they're going through and showing that they're trying rather than someone who blatantly isn't. Okay. Makes sense. Well, I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little confused. Hold up, JT. Because there's a lot of y'all in the comments. Are y'all afraid to come up, 21 supporters? A lot of y'all are saying people are jealous, too invested, that you do. Are you, you don't have to be afraid to come up. This is, we're not kicking you or bullying you. What's the tea? I well, am I'm a 21 supporter. Okay, JT. I'm not even going to care. You don't, you don't I have do. to be afraid. I like the girl. I think she's funny, but I think she has a lot of mental issues. I think, like, when you are in the broadcast for a long period of time, Yes, there are those people that just want to see somebody and crash as big up. You know what I mean? They don't really see a person behind the camera. They just see a figure. But there are a few people in there that really are trying to help that girl. And she's been known to beat their ass, take advantage. That's a her thing. I don't think we should be yelling at the supporters unless they talk and shit. Though I do like Ivy, girl, what's up? <laughs> okay. Hello? Bitch! Hey Zeus, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing good. I just want to come up here and say, quite frankly, I'm glad 21 don't got them kids. I'm glad them kids ain't going to Airbnb to Airbnb, hotel to hotel. <laughs> I'm glad them kids don't got to look at Breon's face and watch them cuddle up every goddamn day. I'm glad them kids don't got to watch their mama get drunk off alcohol and Sprite and water all motherfucking day. I'm just quite frankly glad them kids are not going through the struggle with their mama. Some of these kids, I, I understand you know, Ivy going through the struggle with her kids, but Ivy has a roof over her head. That's a different struggle. I'm glad that 21 don't got them kids and she don't need them kids. At all. They need to stay where the fuck they at. If they're going through what they're going through, God going to bless them and it's going to get better. But it ain't going to get better over there with 21. They just need to stay where the fuck they at. It's World War Three in these comments. Y'all y'all fighting each other. Y'all fighting in them comments, child. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm a 21 supporter. I wish everybody quit trying to bash 21 and try to help 21. So Quit trying to bash her. Well, help her. Well, Everybody I needs help wait, wait, at once. Juicy, juicy, wait, wait, juicy, can, juicy, can I ask juicy. you something? Um, are you a 21 supporter that sends the cash apps and stuff? No, I just support her. I don't I don't send her cash out, but I do send her beans. Okay, so what how does that support her exactly? Like what do you what does that go what do you see that going towards? I'm just I'm just inquiring. Everyone needs help. I mean, she needs her hair done. She needs clothes. She needs shoes. But I stopped supporting after the kids left, just to be honest. But I still support her. I still like her as a person. She just needs some help. So you just don't send her, but you still send her the beans? All right. <laughs> Wait, I need a 1K gift. Did you just got it? <laughs> Not the way y'all just came into my queue. Everybody was in here like, huh? 
<laughs> Wait, stop that, man. Everybody just flooded in my hey. queue like that. Now we're not going. Oh. We're not kicking nobody out. We're gonna let the twenty one supporters. We're gonna let all types of people come up in here. Hey, Joe, we need a one k gift. But the brother? way my queue just went. Vroom. Go ahead. I just want to say, I be a real one. I be stay, stay true to yourself. Fuck everybody else. And also, Robert, cut that motherfucking Brillo pad off the top of your motherfucking Fuck you, head. Fuck you, bitch. Suck that long dick. Um, we need, we need a one. Can I please? Can I get a one K gift, please? Shit. Like Robert, hmm? did this grown ass lady just come up here and say twenty one need clothes and shoes? She did. Excuse me, bitch. She did. Yes, she did. If I need clothes and shoes, bitch, I get up off my ass and go to work on somebody's job. What the hell do I look like supporting a grown, able body? Excuse me. Now, I was coming up here to say something else, but that just blew me. Is you serious? I'm not going to lie. I'm not a parent, but when I was in a homeless shelter, thank you, Beach. When I was in a homeless shelter, my mom my mom told me when she, because my father was a crackhead. It's just interesting to me that y'all say that, because when I was in a homeless shelter, my mom had one pair of shoes that she had to wear every day. And she didn't only had two outfits. Wait, wear. this is her job, dummy. What you mean this is her job, dummy? What you mean this is her job? I'm not supporting no grown, able body. Do you hear me? She don't give no content or nothing. She sit over there dead drunk and, and, and ask her for cash apps. Ain't nobody, it's, it's nothing but a, a 21 supporters of our kids. They're kids, Robert. Gotta be. There are kids. Ain't no fucking way. Like, that really just upset me. Her kids need clothes. Her kids need shoes. Not her. Let me get down. I, let me get down. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Robert, she done stole the cake because I agree with her. Everybody jumped in the queue when that woman sat up here and said, uh, -oh. 21 need her hair did. Bitch, she do her own hair with them ragged ass, cheap ass wigs. She need clothes. Bitch, what about her children needing clothes? What about her children needing shoes? Like, y'all be more so focused on what the fuck a grown ass individual need instead of what her children need. Like, you bitches are weird. And for y'all to sit up here and to support a bitch like that, but y'all won't even get any homeless people on the street probably walking with a baby on their hip a dollar when all they holding up will work for food sign. Y'all won't get them shit, but y'all will give a bitch up here who drank 24-7, who fucking with a bitch with the house of Virginia. Y'all will get her all types of shit and all that money and shit when she don't do nothing with it. And you talking about you don't support her with money but she throw beans on her? For what? What the fuck is she doing with it? She ain't investing in nothing. She not building nothing. She ain't trying to get no house. All she's trying to do is use Breon so he can put the house in his name. Like, let's be for real. Are y'all serious? Y'all bitches support anything. Y'all bitches behoove me, bitch. Did y'all send that fucking gift, Simone? Son of a bitch. God damn it. Gala gifts. Um, motherfucker. I don't even want to see it. I'm a, okay, I'm going to let, hold up. This is an equal opportunity platform. If you're a 21 supporter, I actually would like for you to come up because that one lady said that. I want to hear how y'all, you said she needs her hair done, she needs her shoes done. And this is her versus Ivy from this thing. So I really want to hear from them. How do y'all, fuck you, bitch. How are y'all, because y'all, it's World War Three in them comments. I'm trying to really hear how y'all are, how, how, I mean, how you support. I mean, what, I'm trying to hear it. I'm trying to hear all sides. Go ahead. I, yeah, I want to bang with somebody who's against 21 because I sent 21 money. So I, I want to hear what they got to say. I sent her my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work. I go to work. I support her. Yeah. So um, get one of them people who not one of her supporters up here. Wait, why do you support? Wait, you. Why not? I support you. Why do I support you? Or you. Entertainment. So you also oh, you feel like she's entertaining. Yeah, she is entertaining. I've been watching since Facebook. I didn't know you during the Facebook days, but I've been watching for a while. But like all these, the, a lot of these people are too invested in what the hell they got going, what she got going when they not worried about what they got going. 
like the loss of her children was because people were too invested in what the hell 21 had going and then they ain't gonna bring up all the negative wait, shit wait, 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 and all wait, wait. the so the loss of her children was because people were too invested in what she had going on yeah which is why cps How, kept wait, 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 getting so called. explain this to me how does people's uh-huh how does people's interest in the well-being of her children cause the death of her child or the or her children to be in a way she wasn't around with the death of her child so i'm like okay so then, uh, but I mean, also so how does her children get taken away how does people's involvement in worrying about the well-being of her children get her children to be taken away repeat that one more time i read a comment sorry i said how does people's involvement with her well-being of her children cause her children to get taken away they is they, anybody's gonna look for the negative of any situation before they look at the positive. Yeah, they don't know. All they can see is what you have in the camera. Like right now, all we can see on you is that your head is nap. You got on this chain. Not trying to read it, nothing like that. But like they're gonna go into what they can see. They don't know what goes on when the cameras go off. Well, but Just like also, uh, everybody, but also, every also, I have to ask you this because when I like to, I like to talk with people about these conversations, would it be safe to say mm -hmm. that, that happens with a lot of people? If there was nothing there, then no one's children would be taken because there's a lot of people who get CPS called them. There's a lot of people who get the police. Things happen in that nature. But if there was no probable cause, would it be safe to say that the children would still be there? And then you could say people are too invested. I mean, if there, if people are going to look at people going to take the negative out of them away, gave them away. Sorry. I mean, she. She, mm, I wouldn't say she gave them all. She did something better for them so they wouldn't get taken away. So they wouldn't get put into deeper, like, so they wouldn't be in. Didn't you say you was in a um, sh uh, homeless shelter or something? Oh. I forgot what you just said. Okay. Foster care. I'm sorry. I don't know much about that, that system and all that. But, like, if she would have not did what she did for her kids or where they is now, which everybody wants to know, that's the big question mark for everybody being in to invest it again. If she didn't do what she did, her children will probably be lost in the cps system do you think that is possible ace to just say if she stopped drinking smoking doing storylines and accepting money and just tried to be a good mother and have accountability i don't know i can't really i can't that's something you have to ask i can't tell you about what goes on in 21 head all i can do is what just watch it unravel she okay. said she no shit she had a little nutcase she throw okay yes that that, that was just a little bit Okay, okay, all right. Well, I'm going to hear some more opinions. Thank you, Ace. At least he's honest. You know, he supports yeah, me. He comes up no and supports her, so he gave his... He, you gave me... Bitch. I'm just trying to hear perspectives, because I am. Because I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I don't. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Robert. I have to, I have to spin the block, because... 21 supporters, y'all gotta be brain fucking. Like, literally, y'all are watching this girl die in your face. Like, y'all literally sending her money to do it. It'll be different if she was taking this money. Come on now. We all know how the beans work and how the, the payouts go. If she was taking this money and getting a little studio, you know, just doing her little one-two, it's okay that you want to, you know, do your one-two and, and do your big one and be on Bigo and get money, whatever. But you're not doing any of it in a good way. And it's like, after you lost your kids, that wasn't a wake-up call to where you could at least use this as a stepping stone to go in a different direction to get your kids back. You're not doing any of that. You allowed this shit to get your kids taken, okay? Maybe that's not your fault. Maybe it is. Who gives a shit? But at the end of the day, I've seen women get their kids taken for less. I've seen women just give up on their kids because they couldn't handle the mental stress. But then turn around and work their asses off to get their motherfucking kids back. And do everything in their power to make sure that they turned that shit around so their kids didn't even remember that time. 21's not doing any of it. And then y'all talking about she needs clothes, she needs food. Why she can't go to Chipotle like, like Breon. Why she can't even get a little little kick in day job so she have something else besides Bigo. So when she gets so blackout drunk and do shit she's getting reported for and has no income then she don't have to, you know what? And then she's not even getting these motherfucking Airbnbs in her own name. That should tell y'all how much she don't give a fuck about shit. This girl is spiraling and y'all are paying for it. And I don't give a fuck what nobody says. That's nasty as fuck at the end of the day to watch somebody self-destruct and pay them to do it if y'all wanted to help her go actually get the girl some help you know get her into some type of uh freaking uh what's it called fucking 
therapy or fucking rehab something but y'all just giving her more money to drink she's literally on there beating up her on the fucking supporters if y'all don't give me money i'm, I'm gonna get off if y'all if i don't win this pk i'm gonna go like girl bye shit i don't know how the fuck y'all put up with that shit but i wouldn't give one red penny to that pick any i'm but i'm done okay um we need 5k i see this we have a whole fucking queue i'm gonna try to get through y'all we need i'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get through y'all i'm gonna try to get through y'all Hey Robert. Hey baby. So um, oh, somebody said it's I a character when she's doing all that. She's not. That's not really her. It's a, the drinking, the alcohol, the pissing, the, no, that's, the giving the her. kids away. It's, her. it's a character. This the it's her. the saying. I think she said fuck her kids a few times as well. Is that part of the character? Okay, that's part of the character. Go ahead, my love. I didn't know. That. <laughs> okay, so I'm. I'm gonna start by saying I do watch Twenty One, and I don't. Um, I don't agree with all the stuff that she do. But um, I came from a household where my mom, she was on drugs and, you know, she was in the streets, but my, both of my parents were in the streets. And, and now that I'm older, I look back and I feel like, you know, I don't have nothing against my mom. I love my mom. She's not here. But I look back and I think about it like it was like the best thing she could have did, you know, and 21 has said she gave her kids away. But she had to choose. Not that it's okay. Let me say that because you're I'll quit to come at me in the comments. I'm not saying that it's okay, but she was going live so much. I used to watch her back in the Facebook days. She was going live so much and people would call CPS on her and CPS basically would tell her to get off of live. And but she wouldn't also, get are, these the, are these the days where she would wash her children's hair with toilet water and... Um... Look, look I, that shit is all crazy. It's so fucked up. Like her force feeding that baby, all that stuff. I'm not saying that it's okay, but the best thing that some parents can't do do you guys yeah, ever kids. think of supporters uh, that sometimes y'all just sound like y'all making excuses? I don't want to gear this, but no, I'm not making no excuse up for her. I think that that was horrible. I will never do that to my kids. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not okay. And that's okay. why I'm saying the best thing she could have did was to give her kids up so they wouldn't get put in the system. Because if I, that's a fucked up place to be in. So, that's so, all I'm so, saying. But I don't once think we get past, she's, she's once right. we get past the giving up the the children, what about here and now? The behaviors that are happening. She's, she. Even though she crazy, like, I wouldn't send her a dime of my shit, like, you feel me? But people, she is on here giving people content, not, it's so, it's crazy ass content, but she be up there with them views. And, so what I, I think, I think, money. I think so what, I like, think what, I think what bothers the most people is knowing. Oh, she my profile pic because I caught her, I caught her teeth. I caught her teeth finally. Somebody asked why she my profile picture. I think, I think I what's bothering a lot of people is the that. fact that what you said of her giving content, knowing what currently is going on. I think that there's a lot of mothers and fathers and people with brains and hearts and consciousness that are saying, you're doing all of this, and but there's children who you have an opportunity to help. And I think that's what's affecting so many people, knowing that's like a that's like someone who you know, has the option to feed a whole village but chooses to get on live and steals money from people and begs and does all that and lets people I mean, I'm not I'm just trying to put into perspective so that you guys understand why people might have such an outrage at their behavior. But also I'm trying to understand why you guys are talking about why are people so invested. But I mean people but also when people tell y'all why they're so invested, why do y'all say that people aren't too invested? Yeah, no, I feel like everybody has their right for their own opinion. You know, everybody got the right. Like, if people don't like what she do, that's fine. But I feel like, just like that girl that was on here taking all the, I'm coming! Like, that people was on there taking all the people's money. Like, some people agree with it, some people didn't. It's just, it's just what, you know? It's, you know, but, all right, y'all, y'all tired of me, so let me go ahead and leave. I'm going to need 5K. I need to, like, shorten the time limit. 5K. Yes, very short, very short. But I was agreeing with you, and um, it's like people enable her. She doesn't have the kids. She gets on here every day. It's not content. She gets on early in the morning. She's drinking. She, it's no content. All she's doing is just drinking, drinking, and she acts like she's entitled and it does. It scringes me. I wish it was a law that. Well, I think a lot of people do that, but what's, it seems like is really bothering you all is the backstory of knowing what's me. currently going on. I think that's what's really, I think, because there's a lot of people who do exactly what you said, but I think knowing what you know about the individual is what's making some of you more upset, knowing that the individual is choosing not to do certain things. And then people are saying that this is content. Right. And, and I think that's what 
it, it bothers me. And it's not just her. It, it's any of them that I turn on and, and, and I see it. You know, I'm it's past the kids. Okay, you don't have the kids. And, 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 and you know, God rest that the, the, the happened to her, uh, her daughter. But then the other kids, yes, it's probably the best thing that she doesn't have the kids. But to see her get on here and how she talks and acts like she's entitled, like she's doing something good. You know, like I work. You know, I put two sons through college. They, they you know, they're doing good. And she just sits on here. She's a bum. She, and they are just killing her. And, you know, she sits like, you know, I'm, you know, they have created a monster is what they've done. She's com a complete bum. And I don't, I, I, you know, I just like her. I really do. And it's not just her. I just like all of them, you know, and, and I'm African American and I see her. All she does is just, you know, and, and she says, I'm famous. Anybody that's in my story out of here none of them no no none of my you know circle knows her they've never heard of her and she's like i'm famous you're not famous you're famous to the people on here and you know you're the people that followed you on facebook but you're not famous they've just created a monster and i wish something could be done about it i absolutely i dislike her i if i could say the word i hate her goodbye We need 4K, y'all. 4K. Um, hey, Robert. Hey, Be Go Doctors, Lawyers, Trolls, Bums, Cop Callers, CPS Callers. How y'all doing in the comments? So, um, I'm going to start off by saying, if y'all could make a living off begging, y'all would. Okay? If y'all could beg and never have to get up and get a job, y'all would do it. No shade. Okay? And if y'all feel like this lady is such a bad parent, why do y'all want to force her to go get her kids? Why is that always a read? Go get your kids. Go get your kids. Go. If y'all think she's a bad parent, why the fuck do you want her to go get the fucking kids? That does not make sense to me. Like, if the kids are in a great place, 21 to talk to her grandma on live, her auntie on live, she done had her supporters even send money to the, the auntie um cash app. CA, she sent money to the, the auntie CA for the kids. She, oh, you don't have to send it to me for my kids. You can send it to them. And what makes y'all think this lady don't do nothing for her kids? Like, y'all looking at her cash up every day, see how much she's spending? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, I think I think fat wag. I think fat wig. What people are going off of is they see that when she gets the cash app, she's using them for alcohol, for drugs, for other things and places, and the place not over their head. And I think what's making them upset is seeing someone who has the option to do more for their kids in public blatantly disrespect, choose not to, make fun of, and choose other choices and not be with their kids on purpose in front of people. Why do why do why do everybody got to do something for their kids publicly? Why does it have to be publicly? Like, I don't have to do nothing. I could be on, on here. Fuck them kids. I say fuck my kids every Friday. It could be having a drink on live. Fuck them kids Friday, and I'm going to have a drink. Why do I have to prove to you what I'm doing for my kids? Well, I don't. I, well, I'm, I'm well, Fat Wig, if you would ask me something like that, I wouldn't say you would have to prove to me anything. I would just say that it would just be a common courtesy to show that you're doing anything for your kids instead of nothing at all. Actually, not even nothing at all. It would just be a common courtesy to show that you aren't doing anti for your kids publicly which is the okay. opposite and so and, and then another fucking thing um a lot of these bitches so we just gonna skip over that we just gonna skip over they that say part? oh no i'm saying oh no i wasn't i was trying to make it short and i okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. yeah you know i'm just i ain't trying to hold these hoes up in these in these comments because they go do ahead. it so much but um yeah but like, another thing Y'all call Breon a bum or whatever. Okay, Breon got a job. Get up and go to work every day. Might not have their own crib, but y'all still say, oh, you a bum. You a bum. You a bum. And you got your own job? That don't make sense to me. So you're a big 21 supporter. I'm not a 21. I'm not a big 21 supporter, but I just don't see why do somebody have to prove a point to the internet. That I never have to post my kids. People sit up here and say, oh, you never had your kids because my kids not running around hollering in the background. They in their rooms. Why well, don't I got to prove to you that my kids is here? Or I'm doing stuff for my kids. Okay? Okay. Robert, you look a fucking mess today. You buy dick and pussy with your fucking check on Bigo every month. Worried about somebody else fucking money. You need to get a haircut too, bitch. <laughs> Hold up. There was somebody. I see y'all. Wait, we need 4K. Can I get 4K really quick? There was a Miss Kiki somewhere. I didn't see that one. Hello? Now, honey, gotta go. It's gotta be quick, honey. 
Oh, oh, hey, I didn't even know that I was up here, but I want to just say something to that with real quick. If you can't humiliate your kids in public, why can't she show what the fuck she's doing for her kids in public? And another thing, if you took my kids away from me, um, they're going to act a fucking nut, okay? Because that's, guess what? The mommy is everything, and you should know that. And I would never, never say fuck my kids, never as a parent. Never will I say fuck my kids. But besides that, you sound like you of 21 ass. Let's just say that. But I don't respect shit 21 do. If you can leave your kids, and she tell us everything she do. So it's our fault that she... I was going to say, I was uh, just a second, Tina. You guys keep saying it's no one's a business and people aren't too invested. But you also have to understand that people are commenting on something because someone is telling people everything. Exactly. Week. She showed us. She showed us her her um doing her baby hair and slapping her side of her head and feeding that feeding the little girl oatmeal all fast as hell, shoving it down her throat. So she showed us this. So how y'all feel like she's showing us and putting us in her business and then we're not supposed to say nothing. I remember the lie. She's shoving oatmeal down the little baby's throat, Grayman's throat. So you think that's okay? That's not cool. She put us in her business and then say, don't talk about my kids. But how y'all sit up here and can talk about Ivy and what the fuck Ivy do, but y'all can put 21 on the pedal stool. I'm lost. Uh, bitch, you're like, you just shoved nothing but cheeseburgers down your goddamn Baby, throat. Them you, look at the picture. 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 Your kids is crying, and you're you worried about that's 21. How is your kids crying? Make sure your kids is good first, bitch. Make sure your kids is good first. Because your kids in the back. Crying. Crying. My we kids is in that room. 21 kids no is with the grown kids, auntie, bitch. uncle, cousin. But your bitch, kids in the, the back matter. crying. And Why are you worried about kids. somebody else's kids, kids. Miss Mama? I got, I got my kids. I'm not going to lie. This is just me. Y'all could disagree with me. But in the world of arguments, I think saying to someone, but I have my children, trumps anything else. I'm not being fierce. That's just me. You can say whatever you want about whatever, but I got them. That's just me. Y'all could disagree with me. Y'all could do whatever. It's no shade. Ace is even, even Ace, who's a 21 supporter, is like, bitch, no shade. Girl, you can say whatever you want about me. Your kids is hungry, they, but I got them. And they got a place to lay their head. So, I mean, in terms of this, with her and Ivy, Ivy going to take the L. I mean, not the L, the W. She gonna take the W. No shade, cause you might not like how she, Ivy does, how she speaks, but at least she got them. Hey, Robert, you look fabulous as always, I darling. Know. Um, oh, the shade, damn. Um, so this is what I was going to say. It doesn't matter if you have your kids and they in a broken house, in a crack house, and they in a trap house. I don't give a fuck if you sleep in a tent or you, you in a bathroom. Them. At least you got your you got kids. Them. I just don't understand how y'all... Hold on, I'm sorry, kitty cat. I don't understand it's how y'all okay. are coming at parents and trying to crucify them for the way that they are taking care of their children when their children are in their possession. These are, like, this is two different levels. Like, I, I just don't know if y'all delusional. Like, that's why I don't argue with y'all. Because I'm not trying to be fair with y'all, but y'all like, why y'all so invested? But y'all are really coming after some other people who have their kids in whatever way, shape, or form. Like, I just I just try not to understand because I can't understand. And I don't want to try to understand. But go ahead. Um. So I was going to say, I, I'm a 21 supporter, but I'm not a 21 supporter. I kind of go back and forth with her. Um. I, I'm, I'm going to say this. As an older woman that raised her child... OK, if I was in a fucked up position like this girl is and if I was out here wilding out and doing all this kind of crazy shit, my son would have probably ended up someplace else. She didn't lose her kids. She gave her kids up. I get it. I understand. I'm not I don't know anything about her force feeding the child. Or and I'm not coming like after that. Hold up, kitty cat. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I would never come okay. at somebody if they felt like Monica Clay was on meth and she gave up her children. Any parent that has to give up and I don't fuck with 21. I'm going to be very clear. I don't like the bitch. I can't stand the bitch because she was teaching her children right. horrible shit. Let me just be very clear with y'all. But one thing's for certain, two things for sure. I treat everybody the same. When Monica Clay, thank you, boss butter. We need 3K. When Monica Clay gave up her children for meth, or any parent that has to give up their children at any point in time because they are not in the right mental state and they can bring them somewhere where they would be taken care of, I commend them. But then 
afterwards. It's about the process of what you do. I'm not a parent, but any mother or father will tell you, bitch, if a crackhead is doing crack, she tries to get out of crack so she can get her kids. The drug addicts, alcohol, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You don't sit here and make all these choices and then just throw people away like they're fucking expandable. It's disgusting. And I agree with that. And I agree. I, I'm not... I'm not come like I said. I'm I'm biased. I don't know what's going on with Ivy. I'm team no judgment. I try mm -hmm. not to judge anybody on this app. However, I will say this. I will say this to the people that support Twenty One because I do go over there and I watch her, and I have done a lot of things for a lot of people on this app. I ain't gonna name them, but I've done sprinkle some people with some beans. I've done sent some cash apps. I, I have a big heart. Now, I'm not going to be sending nobody no money, and I know they're going over there doing crack and drugs and liquor, but once I send it, whatever they do with it, they're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. What I will say about the supporters that I think is unfair for people to attack them is nobody is making them send anything that they don't want to send. Like, we got to be fair with that right there. Nobody puts a gun to nobody's head on this app right. and say, send me money. Right. So the people that do send her money, that's what they want to do. My issue is, and this is not about you, Robert, but my issue is to the people, why do y'all care so much that people send this girl money? Is it that they ain't sending y'all money? Because I'm going to agree with Fat Wig. If a lot of motherfuckers could beg like her, and get a fucking coin and don't have to work, a lot of people will. I ain't saying what she's doing is right because she do answer, got kids and I'm she's a answer, mother. I'm going to answer your question, kitty cat, because people are looking at the principle of the matter. It's like anybody with a common sense or a brain or a heart would say, knowing the backstory of this individual and what they're doing and how they gave their kids away and is choosing to do everything anti their kids the first thing people would say is, why would you give a dollar to a crackhead that's choosing to do crack instead of taking that dollar and going and getting their child a sandwich so they don't die or or, or, or have a school or buy a book? Instead, you know a crackhead is going with that dollar that you're giving them or somebody else is giving them. Wouldn't you stop somebody from giving a crackhead a dollar that you know they're going to use for crack instead of going to buy some shoes for their kids? I think that anyone, anyone in general would. So I think that's the reason why people are so just gagged. I don't think it's so much that people are invested. I think that people are just more commenting is how could people not have a heart and soul, even people who don't have kids, to go and support someone knowing the principle of everything they're doing. That and they're I, putting and I on get all, and I get and Robert, I agree with you with all of that. But mm -hmm. then I'm gonna play devil's advocate for one second Absolutely. and then I'm gonna go ahead. get down. Go ahead. How do we know? How do any of us on this app know? And this is just some real shit. How do we know what this girl do with all that money? When she gets off Beagle, how I'll do we you. know that she don't send? I'll tell you, Kitty Cat, because that's a great question. Because someone sent that's me receipts. That's all I want to say. I'm hold on, hold on, don't drop, Kitty Cat. Hold on, don't drop, Kitty Cat. Before okay. you drop, because people ask that question as well, and I'm gonna debunk it right here because she shows us that she don't send nothing to the kids at all. She shows us. I have a multitude of videos of her giving money to buy drugs, to buy alcohol, to buy whatever for the hotel, for all of it. The action, literally the alcohol, the purchase. Yeah, y'all. she flips the camera. I got $70 today. We about to put this in the hotel. I got $40 today. I'm about to buy some, uh, what is it? Eat, eat. I'm about to do this today. I'm about to do all that. She shows it. So, I, so with I all that money, we don't we don't think none of that money done went to the kids over these years. I don't since know. Facebook. I don't know, Kitty Cat. But I will say this much: that's why mm. people. But Kitty Cat, if you're showing what you do use when you do get what you get for, then people have the right to comment on that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not like I said. I'm team no judgment. You know, they yeah. they people people are going to do what they want to do because somebody may say, well, why do you support Robert? Why do you do this? Or why do you do that? Or why do you send money to this one or that one? Twenty one ain't the only one on here begging. They Child, all she, over there. She sure they all over there supporting Detroit Thought, and we know what's You're going not lying. on with him. That's what I said, honey. Detroit These Thought motherfuckers just... just supported Bella, and she fucking scammed all of them. And she got her kid running lying. around from house to house. You are not lying. Is it's... anybody saying anything about Bella in that situation? Mm. You are not. Then let me tell you, twenty one is 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 one of many. All right, I'm gonna send you something, love. Love you. Thank you, baby. Love you too. But thank you for letting everybody come up and speak. That a lot of broadcasters don't do that. That's one thing I really admire and respect about you. Thank you. Thank love. you. Of course, because I'm not gonna.
thing. I myself give that woman no attention and no clout, but I, you know, I will let the 21 supporters come in here. This is about Ivy supporter, Ivy, you know, in terms of her, you know, both of them. So people are going to think justification is, you know, I. We need 2K. We need 2K. I have my personal feelings towards it and public feelings, but I will let you all say whatever. You want to say. Go ahead. We need 2K really quick. We need. To... Not Marsha got my goddamn photo. Not you got my goddamn photo. God damn it. Go ahead. <laughs> I got you, bitch. Um, I don't care about nobody sending 21 money. That's completely up to them. I know that the internet is easily accessible by people with IQs on high levels, just like it is for people on low levels. Okay? They get SSI text too, so they can do with it whatever they will. The government gave it to them. Let them do that. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to send her shit because it's, it was one day I was watching 21 and she was lined up with Monica and she and Monica told her, you are my mother. She said the same things that my mother did to her kids, you're doing to yours and you're the re and it's, it's happening all over again. So if 21 kids end up crackheads on the street, she don't have nobody to blame but herself. And all of this is going to keep going. It's just going to keep going and keep going. And we're going to keep wondering. But the only people that really matter are those children. And they're going to grow up and they're going to see this for themselves. So it doesn't matter. None of our opinions really matter. Those kids are the only ones that really matter. And she's going to have to have a conversation with them one day because they're not babies. They're growing up. You feel me? And they're going to develop feelings. So if she don't give a fuck, that's completely up to her. But I'm not sending that bitch shit. Um, can we get 2K, y'all? Can we get 2K? Shit. This is what I want to say, point out, you know, <clears throat> a lot of what 21 is doing is self-inflicted. You know, 21 actually make enough money where she could have her kids be hiring a, a full-time person to babysit and to do their homework with them. They can be... 21 make enough money to be buying a house. She don't have to team up with a bestie gang. She don't have to partner up with a relationship. She has enough money where she could buy a house and have them on a whole different level of the home with a full-time nanny to cook and clean and keep them off the camera where she could have her kids with her. She has that type of support system. And like the others have shared, I don't care if she uh uh eat dirt for her money if she got the fan base that's giving her that type of money she is making more money than educated college graduated professionals are making she's making a ton of money so it's not that it's not possible for her to be with her kids you know because if they the, i don't care how many reports come in if they don't find nothing wrong they can't take her kids that was her choice to give them kids up and once she gave the kids up being a young mom she felt that freedom she started doing her own hair remember she started putting on her makeup and dancing and she got like stella got her groove back and i think she got caught up in the sauce of being free for once since a teenager with the burden of all these kids and she is finding it hard to go back under that obligation of being a parent and that's not the worst thing but i do fault her for that because it's not like she's struggling for the money the girl is making a uh, a uh, uh, very nice money nothing nothing she can't afford to do on her own to be honest and you remember she had collected when she first gave them kids away she collected five thousand dollars worth of uh food stamps in support and then tried to sell them online she didn't even give the money to the family she tried to offer them online for half price and tried to make money off of all that collected money she was still getting from uh, a GA or whatever services that send her those that uh, welfare money so to me I don't respect her because I know she has the ability to do better. It's not like she ain't got the money. She just stingy as fuck and she ain't going to hardly give you nothing you giving her back. But so I blame her. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for this time. And I'm going to land my plane right there. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 
No, right? I, I come from a home of not having a mom. And my mom kind of did the same thing 21 did. Not to say we turned out fucked up, but she is going to have to answer to them children at some point in life. And it's just now the internet is accessible and for them to see what their mother was doing, she has to answer to that. So whenever she's ready to stop running and face them kids, some of them kids, she might have a child that's stronger, you know, that try to make the kid respect her. But, you know, growing up without a mother, it doesn't matter who was there, who raised you. It kind of sucked when your mom is an able body and you have no type of relationship with them. Oh, well, thank you, Quet. Because I want one of them titties to hit the camera. One of them titters. Hey, Robert, how yeah. are you? Good, how are you? So my whole perspective on this is that I'm torn. Like, I like her and then I dislike what she does. about there's an order beagle babe sorry my love there's an order you have to wait my love it's in going from bottom to top my love i'm going from hey zeus how are you hey baby thank you kitty cat all right um uh, my perspective of this is i'm really like, embarrassed for these women to be even be called like black women they're not standing up for each other they're not they're not for each other but with um 21 and Brian, with all that begging, and Brianna someone said, "Hold up!" Like, someone said, "I'm here for 21 Entertainment, um, not her damn kids or personal life. I don't care what she's doing with my money." Go ahead. Anywho, that's crazy. But what what the whole meaning to? Well, the the fact of the matter is is that we have two black women. They're not, but you know, they're they're supposed to be some type of team. But nobody's uplifting the next person to let's do better things. Like, let's get the kids back. Let's get a stable home. Let's stop sleeping on somebody else's floor or couch. Let's, let's try not to get high or drunk today. Like, let's dare to do something different. And, you know, I'm not understanding why people are up here supporting this lady. It's just sad all the way around. Mm. Robert, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. This is what I want to say, and I always say it. 21 kept talking about how she wanted to be rich. That was her reality show. I've been watching her since FB, okay? Now, 21 got the bag and fumbled the fucking kids, okay? Third of all, she did not give them kids away. She left them kids with family members that she didn't even know for a weekend and then called them and told them that she wasn't coming back. Oh. That's what she did. Yes. She told them she was not coming back. Anyway, oh. moving forward, this girl used everybody in her life as content. She has used them children as content. Anybody, anybody she comes in contact with, she uses them as content. However, people got used to the kids. Like, I'm one of the ones that got used to the kids as well. So the fact that you are up here now, you're so-called making all this money, but now you, you don't have no content no more. You're just begging all fucking day. And that shit is draining after a while. I noticed her support has went down. She's a stone cold alcoholic that has diabetes and she has yet to go to the fucking doctors. Okay. That's what we need to talk about. She want to go out and get her nails done and put wig stuff up in her head, but she won't even send the food stamps home. Ask the people that really slept with her, like um, Demi. Demi said she didn't even want to answer the phone. Like her daughter only had 25% of her brain. And because her father and her mother, well, 21 and Sada baby, was the only thing she knew of touch, feel, and smell in her brothers and sisters. When her daughter was displaced, when, uh, you know, 21 went to Miami or whatever. That's why her daughter deteriorated and passed because all she knew was the smell and feel of her parents and both of them were gone and she passed away and that bitch pushed the live button instead of grieving. And I can't tell you how to grieve though, but instead of just going to go be with the other children that are grieving or support the other children that are grieving, no, you press the live button and beg for money for Airbnb. 
Oh. That shit is weird as fuck. Robert, I got eight children, okay? It's a girl on here. Her name is Sue Wu. Have you ever seen her, Robert? Mm-mm. Her name is Sue Wu. She got five kids. And when I tell you she do the goddamn thing, like I felt everything in her, my spirit. Like when I used to wash clothes back in the day, I, look, I ain't fold up all them clothes. I put that shit in a trash bag. So <laughs> every morning it was like I was ironing out my kids' clothes. And that's the shit that she do. Like, she, But she got her house clean. She does it in rotation. It's like an assembly line. So y'all go watch Sue Wu and, and, and give her those CAs that y'all give this goddamn drunk ass crackhead want to catch HIV ass patient. Oh. All right. Let's... Thank you. God damn, it became a bloodbath. Robert, hey, Robert, I have to agree with you when you said earlier, if you have to, if you're strong enough to have to make a decision to have to give your ch children away for any reason so that you can better yourself, that's commendable. But when you take that time and you actually digress instead of progress, that's the issue. And then another thing, she's been pregnant for a total of 45 months in her short life. She had a lot of time to think about being a parent. She shouldn't be complaining about it. I see a lot of y'all who are speaking for her towards the people who are speaking against her. Interesting. I personally think if you ask me, we just live in a world with a whole bunch of people. I think a lot of y'all are also pieces of shit and like to see crackheads and people go downhill. And I think a lot of y'all are real life, mean, nasty, low life bums who will give money knowing how bad the situation is, how bad the crackhead is. The person's using dope so that you can laugh. It's like throwing meat into a zoo and watching two animals kill each other to go at it or giving a crackhead money to buy that dope so you can see them shoot up and, and fall over and seize. I just think a lot of y'all are nasty people who enjoy it. So I really don't argue with a lot of y'all who support these people like 21 and Detroit Thought and all these people because there's a difference between watching people for content because 21, Detroit Thought, AJ, all of them, they can put on wigs. They can be funny. They can talk shit. They can be on live. And they can give you all that content. And you can give them beans. But y'all not giving them beans because of that. Because a lot of times when they're at their lowest and they're not giving you any of that content, that's when y'all giving them beans and cash apps. Y'all giving them money on purpose knowing that they're fucked or fucking somebody else up like their kids or their family or whatever. That's what I believe. When they're at their lowest and they're not giving you that content, ha ha, he he. When they're saying fuck their kids and high and drunk and stuttering and slobbering. Or fuck their mama or fuck whoever. And they gibberish and pissing themselves and hotel hopping and homeless. That's when y'all giving them cash outs. That's what y'all are giving them money. That's when y'all are sitting here thinking it's cute. Not when they're doing content. Because y'all don't want to see their content. Y'all don't care about them putting wigs on. Y'all don't give a fuck about them talking shit. Y'all don't give a fuck about them lining. Y'all want to see them spiral because y'all are just as bad as they are and it's disgusting. That's what I believe. That's me. My opinion. If you don't fit that category, I'm not talking to you. Hey, Zeus. Um, you're exactly right in what you said. Um, if I'm a single parent, I work every day, I take care of my child, I guarantee you, if I was to get on live, and say, hey, I'm a working mom. I wouldn't get anything. People like seeing people self-destruct. Also, I wanted to add that at work, I do a form with intake. It's called ACE, Adverse, Adverse Childhood Experience. And what that is, is that the people who come to me have some kind of trauma in their childhoods because of neglect, because of whatever, you know, the 21s, the the Ivies, the, the everybody on here. So. I mean, what 21 did was she, she, she realized without her kids, people would watch her more and give her more. And that's exactly what she did. Um, I see, I mean, I don't see supporting her or watching her is, you know, I don't do that anyway. I don't gift her. I don't gift Ivy. I don't gift Ed. I don't gift any of these parents that I see in the background, their kids, they're yelling at their kids, they're fussing at their kids, they're drunk. This all adding to the problem. 
of um, you know the child's neglect and the, and the abuse and the, and growing up kids with the mental abuse and uh, you know mental illness. Twenty one has mental illness. I don't expect her to be a good mother, but I also don't support her either. But like you said, though, I was you're right though. Um, people like drama. They like mess because their lives are just probably just as bad as twenty one. So they're not going to look at people like people, you know, average per- person working in nine to five as entertainment because they don't care about that. They don't care. That does not give them any enjoyment. They want people miserable. Yeah. That's fun for them. And to each their own. Listen, if that's what you enjoy and that's what you like, I think it's sick and I think you're fucked and you're not my type of people. But once again, if that's what you enjoy, that's your choice. This is your money. We can't tell you how to throw it. One thing I'll never do, and a lot of us like to say 21 supporters are stupid. I'm not going to say that specifically because I think a lot of y'all supporters are stupid. I think a lot of y'all are dumb as fuck because I think a lot of people on this app are selective. They selectively outraged with certain things. They're okay with somebody talking about pedophilia, rape, and molestation, and racism if it's their friend and they're on a panel and it's their favorite. But if somebody else does it, they go batshit crazy. A lot of y'all be be sitting here um, wearing out Detroit thought, but then be wanting to stick up for 21. So... To each their own. It's your money. You do with it what you want. I could give no fucks because a lot of people are very biased and go where the wind blows. I will say this to, before I let up the four people in the live. It's not about what everybody else is doing and thinks because people are going to have opinions, especially for people who show them. It's about what you do. So when you know what you do, I've never seen so many people support deadbeats. When you know what people do, that's your money and your choice with what you do with it. Because you can't help the next bitches who are crackheads and enablers and crack enablers and drug enablers. Thank you. You can't help the, all those other people because they're going to be just as miserable as the person they're enabling. Sometimes a lot of these people are just as sick as the person they're supporting. The only difference is their financial pockets. And that's that. And that's a lot of it. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Hey, baby. Yeah, I got to say that I do love the way that you present yourself and how you like, you know, break things down and stuff like that. Um, And uh, I agree with everything you said about her. Um, She's definitely, I don't know if you said this, but she is very much a malignant narcissist who enjoys destroying people's lives and collecting souls in the process. And until she's done, until she does that to somebody, she's not satisfied. Um, but when she when she do that, she'll be satisfied. But one thing I did want to show y'all because I'm so tired of fat wig, always trolling and stuff like that. Can I show you a clip of her um, admitting to one? tranny penis sure okay hold on how do i flip this damn yeah i don't remember me saying she collected souls but just go ahead you you have the floor show us fat yeah yeah i'm saying that i'm saying that no problem no problem yeah she definitely collects souls i know a narcissist when i see one here go fat wig right here since she loved a troll here we go You had sex with Cream Nation. Um, you like, yeah, right? Sex. I mean, you know, I'm into trying different things. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> that, did you hear it, Robert? What did she say she's into trying? Wait, I couldn't. What was she saying? <laughs> oh, different things. Look, hit it on her weird ass. Oh, well, thank you, Shyrock. Okay, thank you. 
podcast. Um, I'm sorry I'm back, Robert, but somebody in the comments specifically said, don't let me back up, and I'm right back, bitch. Ah Anywho, I came back just because it really just breaks my heart. Maybe because of my own personal experience, my mom lost me and my five siblings when I was very young, just kind of due to circumstance, because she was a single parent. She had to work one day when we was out of school, and she didn't know we were on break, and left us home alone. We, you know got caught up in the system and i feel like i'm watching the same thing happen to 21. honestly i feel like my mom got used to being okay baby give me a second please she got used to that freedom you know having a lot of children is hard for any woman so of course when you get that free time you get to getting back to being you of course you're going to fall in love with it but it's nothing more heartbreaking for a child to then become an adult and not only not never have no type of relationship with their parent the person that's supposed to love them protect them guide them and teach them but then to see that that person didn't turn into shit my mama works at mcdonald's i make more than her now she calls me for advice you know that's heartbreaking and i'm the only girl so i'm the one who's constantly telling my brothers don't disrespect her or she did the best she could but honestly i'm about myself now and i know there's no it's there's nothing I wouldn't do for my children. There's no way I would ever stop to, you know, get my kids back if I was ever, God forbid, put in that situation. But to watch, you know, 21, whether she gave the kids away, they were taken, whatever the case may be, you know, to now not using this time to do better, even if she knows she's not going to get them back, to even just try to make her life better so when she does see them at the end of the road, when they become an adult, have nothing to show for it not the money not a career you might not even be here like i said because of the shit that you're choosing to do right now i don't care that she uses bigo as her hustle hey do your big one get your money if people are willing to send you money to watch you do this shit more power to them that's their money that's their choice but it's heartbreaking to watch this shit like it literally is heartbreaking to because them kids are going to spin the block one day. And they're going to want to know why the fuck you never tried. And then it's even worse because all this shit is filmed. So they're going to be able to see exactly what the fuck you were doing while you weren't taking care of them. Okay. Hold up. Thank you, Butter Pecan. I want to let these... Just a second, JT. I want to let up Same and Prophetess. JT, I'm going to drop you down, my love, because I just want to let them up because we do have to move on. And I appreciate y'all coming y'all Stuff like that. I'm going to let these last two up and then because I want to move on to the award show. Can we get to this fifth box, please, so we can jump right into the award show, please, y'all? We need literally 8K. If anybody wants to throw a treasure box or, or a gala gifts, please, thank you. So we can hop right in. Go ahead. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi, everybody. I just want to point out a comment that you read that they don't give a fuck about X, Y, and Z, her kids. They came to see her. Now, I wonder how she feels that her supporters don't give a fuck about her kids along with her. That's got to be some fucked up shit. I'm out. Thank you, baby. Hello? Hello? Okay. But hey, baby. Okay. Y'all better think about one thing. <clears throat> one thing God afforded us is choices. Y'all better think about what these women should have been thinking about when they was laying down, opening their legs, having all these babies. All these women laid down and had a choice, made a choice not to use protection, and they chose to have all these children, and they expect for everybody to feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for the children. I would give to a child any day, but I'm not going to give it to the parent to fuck it off and do something else with it. You know what I mean? I feel bad for the kids. Thank you. We need 5K, y'all. Not 5K, 7K. How you gonna tell somebody else? Hold up. How y'all gonna tell somebody else to go get her kids when she doesn't want to go get her own kids? Y'all just, I just, I swear to God, it just, like, it be arguing with remedial. Like, y'all just be, how the fuck y'all gonna tell somebody else to go get their kids instead of telling the parent to go get their kids? 
Y'all know how dumb... I can't. Go ahead. That's why I don't be arguing with y'all. Because I just feel like, bitch, my IQ drops so low when I argue with some of y'all. Go ahead. Thank you. Right. you it up? Thank you. Hey, uh, 21 supporters. Do y'all remember, like, more than a week ago, she admitted to letting uh, her first cat or <coughs> first dog named Trixie lick her pussy? Remember she admitted to that? Do y'all see what type of person y'all support and then y'all talk about medicine? Oh, not y'all throwing daggers every way. <laughs> no, that's just nothing. Man. Anyway, but, uh, <laughs> this is my last time coming up, but I was uh, supporting 21 around the time of her daughter funeral when she said that she was using, she needed money to get a flight and all this other stuff. But I only gave her money because I thought that that's what she was using it for. But now I see that she don't always use the money for what it's used for. So I decided not to support her. Thank you. Well, I just want to say this. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. For the rest of y'all who have a common sense and a brain, stop trying to figure out why people do what they do. If you have children, if you have your own life, this is the one app in social media where I would tell you it's better to mind your business and let crackheads and junkies and crackhead junkie supporters be crackheads and junkie supporters. And when people come, like, when y'all come to me and say, Robert, 21 overdosed, Detroit thought overdosed, AJ overdosed and died, I'm going to say, oh, well, damn, I'm surprised it took this long. And then I'm going to move on. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to care about it. Y'all let that be a subject with y'all because y'all sit there and, and, and support. So I'm just letting y'all know, stop pulling y'all's hair out. And the reason why I feel like a lot of y'all are aligned with it is because y'all are parents and you could never see people do the things that you do. And y'all have your own feeling and y'all entitled to that. Just like the people who make money and throw money at these people are entitled to. If you make $10 and you want to give it to a crackhead and see them do crack, knowing that that $10 and feed their kids, their family, their mom, their dad, or do something and stretch it to where it's really needed. And they're going to do And you say, you know what? I know they're going to take this money instead of getting some new shoes or reading a book and they're going to take it and do some crack and i want to see them do some crack because i'm a piece of shit and that's what they do that's on them wipe your hands clean of it let them deal with it let them deal with it let them all be in misery at the bottom of the barrel together because that's what i think i think i think it's a whole bunch of sick people supporting other sick people because I think anybody with a conscience and a soul and a heart would be able to say, I'm not going to give shit to these people who are doing all this because it's going to drugs. And it's not like it's how do we know? How do we know? I'm talking about the people who are showing us what they do. The people who are showing us. This is not people we're talking about that are like, oh, y'all cash at me and then getting off the live. The, the live. Detroit thought is buying perks from y'all. He's going and buying wigs and buying drugs. AJ's out getting drunk and buying stuff with y'all's $20 cash apps. They're getting hotels. They're showing y'all what they do. This is not people that are like, how do we know what they do? We know what they do because they're showing us. So if that's what you want to do. Just take care. You know what y'all do? You know what y'all do? When y'all see stuff like that on this app. You tell your kids, come here. You turn your camera and you say, I love you. And I'm, I want you to know I love you. And I'm glad to be in the position that I chose to make sure that you are loved. That's it. And then you carry on with your life. You make sure your shit is okay. Okay? Because while I hold, but all these other motherfuckers is doing what they're doing, and these people are supporting these motherfuckers, you make sure you good. That's all you can do. Parents, mothers, and fathers, and people who have foster kids or or adopted kids or whoever, or surrogates or whoever, whatever you, or if you've taken care of a niece or a nephew or uncle, you make sure they good. Use other people's misfortune as an example of what you never want to be. Because at this point, trying to interject by being like, what is wrong with you? It ain't working. It ain't working. It ain't working. <laughs> Save your money for your fish fry. All right, now we have to get to the people want to know awards. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? Can I please get to this fifth box? Thank you. Yeah, because I'm, you know, we, we tend to sit here and be pulling out our hair trying to figure out why people do what they do. Don't. Don't pull out. Yes, I'm being trolled by digits, huh? Can y'all help me close this box, please, and get to the, the fifth one? If y'all can run it up, we're going to hop right in, child. 
I'm gonna get to typing. This is the same people who won't do do for their mama, brothers and sisters, shake my head, sad. Listen, that's their choice. Let me tell you, one of the healthiest things I could do in life, and one of the reasons why my skin is so flawless, my teeth are good and my body and my health, is because I learned to mind my business. I learned when it's appropriate for me to step in. And I also learned when shit's a lost cause. Watch this. Did y'all see what I just did there? Did y'all see what I just did? Let me show y'all again. Watch, watch, ready? called being unbothered and minding my motherfucking business. That's what that's called, being unbothered and minding my motherfucking business, letting train wrecks and people be train wrecks and motherfucking people. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh, she's dead? Wow. So what'd you get for dinner today? Oh, she overdosed? Uh, Oh, the court set a case? Uh, Well, girl, you knew it was coming. Anyways, how you doing, girl? Did you hear Deborah down? That's, That's me. That No shade. No shade, because a lot of y'all are going months and months and months and days and days and days trying to figure it out. Don't. Don't. Let them be. Let them be in their misery. Let them be in whatever. Let them be. Karma comes around and the world comes and baby, when she rings your doorbell, you got to answer to it. That's all I'm going to say. Make sure you good. Make sure you good. Cause I and I and I fuck with a lot of y'all. We need 8K. Can we get 8K? I fuck with a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all are parents. A lot of y'all are whatever. A lot of y'all are below. And then also, let's be clear: there are people who are in 21 Detroit Thought AJ's Live. Thank you, Alex. Who literally just like the content. There are y'all who literally like their interactions with people. There are some of y'all who are like, I don't care that AJ's always cursing out his mother and do, going in and out of drugs, and and I don't care that Detroit Thought is doing perks and almost killing himself and has HIV or whatever, and all these infections. I like when Detroit Thought wears these outfits and wigs and talks shit and interacts. That's the only time I'm here. I can X out everything else. And I get that. There are people who are literally really like that. There are people who are really like that. And then there's other people who are like, I don't care about a wig. I don't care about um, Monica Clay's uh, um, uh, trying to find a job. I'm going to give her $5 or I'm going to give her $20 or I'm going to give um, uh, $21, $10 because I know she's going to drink and I know it's going to trigger people because she doesn't have her kids. And I know, and I'm going to write something in the comments that's going to make her say fuck her kids more. And I'm going to give Detroit Thoughts some perks because I know he might be close to overdosing and that's going to be a topic. Ooh, grinds my, yeah, there's people like that in the world. Yes. Yes, y'all. Yes. There's, there's sick people like that in the world who have a thrill out of other people. Yes. Yes. Welcome to social media. Welcome to the real world. Welcome to when you turn your camera on or you turn this app on or Facebook or anywhere. This is hi. This is the real world. No shade. So um, does anyone have a treasure box? The room is hot. It's super lucky. Does anyone cold world, but it's an honest world, Miss Too Real. Um, can we get to welcome to trash TV, honey? Let me tell you something. It's called the rubbernecking. Bitches will slow down and there's a lot of traffic for people who got in an accident and almost died or did die rather than there being traffic because somebody's giving out cartons of water on the freeway. Am I lying? There's a lot more traffic for motherfucking accidents and people who almost died or did die than traffic for motherfuckers who were giving out free bottles of water on the freeway. Okay? People stop and slow down and rubberneck. I thought that's what Matrice Moore did to you yesterday was, oh, child, I ain't, I ain't bothered. I ain't bothered by that bitch ass nigga. Okay, can we get to this next box really quick? And we're going to start this awards because I need to take down names and nominations. I don't know why my, I did boxing today. So my hand is a little shaky. A lot of hoes needed to hear this. I, well, I didn't know somebody made that. My hand is a little shit. I was boxing today. I was going really hard with boxing. I did a 30-minute uh, boxing class. So my fucking hands are like, my wrist was like, ooh. Um, can we get 8K, y'all? Does anyone have 8K so we can hop right into the awards? Thank you. 
Alex, hey baby, shut up. I'm shaking like I, I, I just wanted to come in and say to you, I'm sorry. Why do you have to say I'm sorry? Who are you, Fiery? And why are you saying I'm sorry? Can we see your yik? Why are you saying sorry? We need 8K, y'all. 8K. Hey, back up, Paige, by the way. I got I to calm down. That's okay. But um, what it was is I just thought that it was uncalled for that he talked to you that way. I mean. Yeah, but you let me tell you something about me, my love. You never. One thing about me, I don't accept other people coming in and apologizing for other people's behavior, especially when they're grown. While I appreciate you and I thank you. You know, I'm not looking for an apology from this man. He's going to have to reap what he sows because he's been talking to a lot of people looking crazy on this app when people might know who he is. So that's something he's got to deal with. I'm not affected or bothered in any way. I'm on four boxes and, you know what I'm You're saying? App. So huh? he wanted to be, he, you're successful on this app. He's not. If he wanted to learn something instead of making an enemy, he should have made an ally. But... Uh it's alcohol. I yeah, I will say this. It's alcohol, and he's got some deeper issues in making friends with me. Okay. That's all right. I just didn't think it was called for. And everybody in the room said, did you just kick him? So other people thought so, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate you, Fiery, so much. And just know, you know, I'm not affected by his actions in any way, shape, or form. But I really appreciate you coming over here and, and, and um, even just having a conversation. Okay. All right. I'm going to drop down. Thank you, love. You're welcome. Yeah, one thing about me, when you hoes make y'all decision, and anybody else who comes over here to me be like that, no, 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 no. Unless I hear from the motherfucking person, I won't hear it. But I appreciate her. Thank you. That man is drunk and threatening people and, and fucking looking crazy. So he got to deal with it. Okay? Is there any AIDS in here? Not Rick Rosa has AIDS. Oh, my God. Hi, a consultant. I like your hair. Um, Y'all, come on, y'all. Can y'all run it up, please? Can y'all run it up, please? We need 7K. Hey, baby. Hey, cousin, hey, cousin Keith. We need 7K, y'all. Can we get 7K? Because I want to get to these people who want to know awards. I got all the categories in front of me. We have to start typing them out, y'all. So we need 7K. Can y'all run it up, please? Can we close this box? Because, bitch, I already know y'all going to be flying shit across. I've been watching you all, all day on YouTube, period. I already know y'all going to fly all this shit across my box with all these nominations. I'm going to get hell. I'm going to tell y'all right now when we're doing these nominations. We need 7K. I don't give a fuck. Will you follow me back? Um, Absolutely, Dark Rose. If you if Black Rose, if you help me close this box. Sure. I need some 1K gala gifts, my love. I, I surely will. Do you have some 1K gala gifts? I don't give a fuck. Thank you, Black Rose. If Y'all are mad that your favorites did not make it into a category. If you think at any point in time, while we're going through names for nominations, that I am being biased or that it is biased because your favorite didn't get it, you're going to be muted and kicked the fuck out because I don't care. You bitches get upset. When I do my award show, I go all sides of Bego, bitch. And there's a lot of people who don't belong in a lot of categories, but y'all want them there because they're your favorites. Oh, thank you, baby. I don't give a flying fuck. If you're mad because your favorite you think should have just went in the category and they didn't make the category. These categories, when I go through them, they're for the year, for this whole year, this whole year. If your favorite don't motherfucking, I don't give a fuck. Go watch your favorite then. At any point in time, if your favorite don't motherfucking make it into a category, go watch them. I'm going to give you a, no, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to give you a first class flight so you can watch them, bitch. So if you and this motherfucker and your favorite don't make it somewhere in a category when we're motherfucking typing everything, oh, well. There's a lot of bitches who don't belong in certain categories because they don't fit the fucking criteria. Any more questions? Great. If you feel like he's being biased, go buy your ass into your favorite broadcaster's live and kiss my black ass, bitch. I have one. Okay, we need 7K. Can we get 7K really quick? Hi, Lolly. Can we get 7K? Why are you awake? So fuck you. Can we get 7K really quick, please? 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because you know when we doing shit like this, the girls always be giving, ow, oh, this is, ow, oh, this is, ow, oh, this is. Get the fuck out. And if you're a troll, you're getting kicked the fuck out too. Thank you, Affair. I don't give a fuck who it is, bitch. Because I ain't got time to sit here and deal with you hoes. Get the boot, bitch. A steel toe boot, bitch. Play the bells, y'all. The room is hot. The room is hot. Come on, y'all. Run it up. Anybody got a treasure box? Anybody got a treasure box? Need it. Thank you, mommy, too. I want to start, y'all. Come on. I want to I wanna hop right into the categories, but we need to close this box. We need at least 5K. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Run it up. Thank you the fuck going on. Hey, wet coochie. Hey, it's for me. Come on, y'all. Drop for me. Drop for me. It's for me. Drop for me. Drop for me. Quick. Come on, y'all. We need 1K gala gifts. Thank you, Royal Jinx. I can't wait to make you a host, my love. Come on, y'all. Run it up. We got 2.4K in here. I know 10 people or five people could throw a shield at least or something so we could close this box. And, and speed this process up at least at least five shields at least one shield from five different people and i appreciate y'all for giving the 10 gifts i appreciate y'all for giving the 100 gifts because some um we have a lottery going on um i bet you musty ass oh me the fuck huh what you mean thank you guys run it up run it up we need gala gifts we need at least four gala gifts just 1k and can someone put a 1k for the lottery too thank you it's for me Thank you, Royal Jinx, baby. Thank you. Can someone put a 1K for the lottery? We literally need 4K for the gala gifts. 4K. I think we need 4K. Thank you, baby. So we could close this damn box. Thank you. I said follow me, batch. Bitch, let me get a motherfucking gala gift, huh? I will. Because you're always in my life, Cousin Keith. Where do you find these headgear? In, in Singapore, girl. In Malaysia. The, Thank you, Poison Ivy. Thank you, baby. Child Ivy came over here with the smoke, honey. She was like, bitch. Thank you, guys. Come on, y'all. Run it up. Run it up, y'all. We need gala gifts, too. Does anyone have some 1K gala gifts? Thank you. Hey, Justin Villain. Welcome back. We need some 1K gala gifts. The girls are getting clipped left and right. Thank you, Nola, baby. Thank you, Aishia Vibe. Hey, baby. How you doing? It means Dollar General. Fuck you. We need 1K gala gifts. Gala gifts.